Okay, let me bring up the chat. Hi guys, let me bring the chat up here. There it is. Let me make this smaller. Hi Pamela, hi Uber. Hi Stephanie, Crystal, Amanda, Mama Cat. There are two Pamelas in here, yes. Hi Jackie, how are you? How is everyone doing today? Oh, I did it again. What the heck? Thank you, Pamela. Hi, Tammy. Okay, so today I am going to do, I'm doing well. Thank you, Pamela. Um, today I'm going to do an easy eye tutorial and I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill uh, palette because this is like what everyone has been asking like everybody hi Mariah everyone um, wants to know how to use this so um, hi Ricky you're so funny hi Cherry Cherry hi Karen how are you sweetie and um, this is what everyone keeps asking me so um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this one and then after this tutorial then I'm gonna start switching it up and doing some other Hi, Rebecca, doing some other um, makeup, but I'm also gonna go over like an actual basic makeup kit today. So I'm gonna show you basically like what I brought with me on vacation would be what I would consider to be like a basic um, makeup kit. And I'm gonna show you some of the brushes that I use and um, that I would recommend that you were get that you get. And then I'm gonna show you also some set my phone down here some affordable eyeshadows that you can get as well so I already did my foundation and my powder so the foundation that I used uh, is the YSL that's like my all-time favorite uh, YSL uh, all day that is my absolute favorite foundation so far, I do have a few coming that I'm going to be trying for you guys when I get back home. Um, hi, Amanda Love. But for a basic, if you wanted to get just the absolute basics, the things that I would recommend would be a good eyeshadow palette. Now, one, is that your natural color or a tan? Gabby, If you're gonna be nice, you can stay, but honestly, if you're gonna troll, then I'm I'm not gonna do that because this is a safe place for people and I don't want anybody being trolled. And you were here the other day and it's, you ride the line. So um, please be kind. Hi, country lady, how are you? And please stop it, you are beautiful. Everyone is beautiful without makeup. Makeup is fun. Makeup is supposed to be something that you enjoy doing, like an escape, a way to express yourself, things like that. So, <laughs> so one of the palettes that I would recommend everyone get, if this is, you know, if you're going to spend your money on a palette for something that's really good, hi Don, how are you? Um, is the Modern Renaissance palette. It's so good. It's very versatile. We'll work on Um, hi, Stephanie. Yes, mine too. Um, everyone's beauty is from within, country lady. So this is something that 
Um, I would recommend everyone getting because it's just so versatile. We'll work on all different skin tones. We'll work on all different skin, the color of your eyes, everything. It's just an all around great palette. It is super easy to use, blends like a dream. So I couldn't say enough. So if you're starting out, this is an excellent palette. You absolutely can't go wrong with this. So that's the first thing. The other thing that I would suggest is going to makeupgeek.com or well, and or, hi, Stephanie, Mama3, how are you? Or uh, ColourPop.com and making your own palette. This is one that I take with me everywhere. Crystal, I think it's like $42 for the Modern Renaissance. Um, and Makeup Geek and ColourPop eyeshadows will run you between 4 and $6 a pan. It's so reasonable. You can't beat it because these shadows are high, high, high quality. And you can make the palette yourself, and then you'll high lens. Um, then, you know, you're not going to get colors that you know you won't use. So um, I highly suggest doing something like this, creating your own Z palette and going that direction. You also want a very good primer. Now, I'm really enjoying this Peter Thomas Roth uh, Skin to Die For. Um, this one, mm, too, there we go. Um, I really like this one. I think it's great. I have very, very large pores. I have oily skin and, um, no matter what your skin type is, having a good primer is going to help your foundation apply better. It's going to keep it on longer and just make it look better throughout the day. So a primer is definitely not something that you want to skip. There are many other drugstore uh, versions. I believe that I talked about uh, NYX's or NYX's um, Angel Veil. That's a good primer. Uh, if you have oily skin, I would stay clear of anything that says luminizing in it. Uh, yeah, Stephanie, actually, I just got this in mine as well, and it's the Dr. Brandt Luminizing Primer, and it's by their pores, it's by his Pores No More. Hey, Katie, it's by the Pores No More line that he has. I tried this. It did not work for me. I'm too oily for this, um, but it does work on my cheeks. Hi, Angela. So... You can multi-prime, but if you're going for just a basic one, then definitely get a primer. You want that for sure. If you're going to wear a foundation, you can get drugstore foundations. But just remember, the foundation is going directly on your skin. So if you are going to spend money on something, I would highly suggest investing in a good foundation. You can go to Sephora, you can go to Ulta, you can go to any department store and ask them, hi, Jess Beck, um, can you DM me, uh, Jess Beck? I need to talk to you about something when you get a chance. You can go to any department store and get samples of these products. Um, any of the things that I'm going to mention, except for like shadows and you know powders, well, actually even some powders you can get samples of. But I highly encourage you to go in there. At Sephora, I know for a fact you can get three samples per visit per person that's with you. So if you take someone else with you, you guys can get six different samples. That's a pretty good range that you could get um, to try stuff out and see how it's going to work on your skin. Something that I do with all of my clients, whether it's for bridal or homecomings or um new moms, wh whoever they are. One thing that I do is I have them take a picture as soon as I finish their makeup. And then I ask them to take a picture about four hours later, eight hours later, and then right before they go to bed without doing any touch-ups or anything. That way I will know what, how their skin is handling the makeup. And then I can make the adjustments before their actual big day. Uh, the best beauty box. Th thank you, country lady. What's the best beauty box subscription? I personally think it's BoxyCharm. That is absolutely my favorite. My second one would be the Sephora uh, Play Box. It's 10 bucks a month. You get, I think, five products in there, but there you're going to have one that's a Sephora line. And Sephora line actually gets 
overlooked quite a bit, but Sephora, um, Sephora is owned by Louis Vuitton. So the products are not, they're not bad. They're good. They're all really good. So uh, I'm going to get to brushes here in just a second, guys. So uh, if you're looking for something less expensive than BoxyCharm, because I believe BoxyCharm is about $21 a month. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong on that. But, <coughs> excuse me, but Sephora is great. So, and it's $10 a month. So if you can get that, that is definitely something that I would look into. I do get Ipsy. Uh, Ricky, yes, I use Jeffree Star. Love his stuff. Absolutely. Um, hi, Carmen. I know you're busy today, but thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. I need to know what brush to use for what kind and how. I'm going to go over all of that while I'm doing the brushes today. But I'm going to right now just go ahead and finish trying to do what I would consider a good starter kit for you guys. And then I'm actually going to make a list excuse me, of the things that I've named in here. And I will put that in the description afterwards when I can talk to Katie and or someone, if someone wants to send me their phone number through DM, somebody that can help me figure out how to go back in afterwards and put things into the description because I haven't been able to figure that out. I have a bad habit of, hold on, Don, I'm coming back to you. It went by too fast. I have a bad habit once I'm finished with my makeup and I look in the mirror, all I see is foundation. So I end up taking a tissue, wiping it off until my tissue isn't picking up color anymore. Um, yeah, that's that That wouldn't be, hi, Happy Mandy. That's not how I would do it. What I would suggest is, I, I don't know how you're applying it, but something else that I think is an absolute must is a beauty blender of some type. Now, there are several dupes for the the beauty blender. Thank you, Uber. There are several. Yes, I do, Steph. You're right. Sorry about that. There are several that you can get. This one happens to be by Morphe. I absolutely love this so much. But uh, beauty blenders are absolutely fantastic. Uh, Real Techniques has great brushes as well as um, a beauty blender. Well, you know, they're kind of blenders. But I, I personally think that. Um, the original beauty blenders or the ones from Morphe are my absolute hands down favorite. These are, these are the ones that I use on all of my clients as well as on myself. So if you're using this Dawn, when you put your foundation on, this is going to pick up any excess foundation or um, concealer that you put on so that it's not too cakey. The other thing that I suggest, in fact, if you go back and watch any of my previous videos, I show you how I do my foundation. You do use beauty blenders. I just want to can more natural. Oh, you want it to look more natural. Yeah, I would go back and look at some of my other ones where I put it on, where I put my foundation on because I show you how little to use. People just think that you really need to go in and use a whole bunch of foundation and that's just not the fact. And it may also be the powder that you're using. You may be using a powder that's just too heavy. Um, that brings me to my next thing. So you're going to want some kind of a powder, a loose powder. There are so many on the market. Uh, Laura Mercier is definitely one of the most popular. I personally like the RCMA, no color powder. Um, you can get it from beautylish.com. There's a few other places that sell it. And um, I've used that in my makeup kit for years. It's absolutely great. Um, the Laura Mercier one is fantastic. However, I, even though it's translucent, I find that it oxidizes just a little bit on the yellow side with my skin tone and on clients that are very pale, it will absolutely look yellow. So if you are super pale, then I'm not sure that that one would necessarily be a great fit for you. The RCMA no color powder is absolutely fantastic. Uh, like I said in my other video, you can also get the Cody Airspun, especially if you're going to be doing baking where you put a lot underneath your eyes and in the spots where you get super oily. It's inexpensive. You can get it at Walgreens, at Walmart. Just try to get the one, number one, you, you want the one that has no color, that's translucent. And number two, try to get the one that is unscented because that has got a scent that does not go away all day long, no matter what. Then after you put your powder on, hi, Debbie, thank you. 
you want, after your powder is, is on, you've had all your blush, you've done your bronzers, all the things. Yes, it is very inexpensive. Uh, thank you, Carmen, my glasses. Thank you. Um, after you do all of your powders, so you've done your foundation, you've set it with your powder, you've done uh, contour, bronzing, blush, highlighting. Once you've done all of your powders, you're going to want to set your face with something like this. I like the MAC Fix Plus, hands down, my absolute favorite. There are tons on the market. Um, from what I understand, Wet n Wild has one that's pretty decent. I'm just faithful to my MAC Prep and Prime. Um, you can, they're about, these are $20. It will last you a while. They have now the original scent. They have a lavender scent. They have a coconut scent. They have a rose which is really, really good for those of you that have rosacea. It's very calming. And I think they have crud. I can't remember what the fourth one is, you guys. But um, they are, it's fantastic. And not only can you use this to, hi, Mr. Boots, not only can you use this to put it on your face and then have the powder meld into your skin so that it looks like part of your skin, not so much like on your skin, uh, tw these are $20, I believe, Amanda. You can get the smaller ones. I think they're like 12 bucks, but you know, for eight more dollars, you're getting, a whole, you're getting, I think, triple the amount that you get in the smaller ones. Yes, Katie, you love the Fix Plus. It like, she didn't realize at first what it was actually used for. And when I explained it to her how to use it, she said the same thing that it just like changed her life. So yes, Mario Badesco is a great spray. He has the aloe, uh, he has a rose one. He also has um, a lavender one as well. Hi, Tanya. But I just personally love the MAC Fix Plus over all of them. And I've tried quite a few. Now, I would not consider this a setting spray. I'll get to that at the end. But some kind of spray like this, you're going to want to set all of that powder with. The good thing about the... Um, Fix Plus. No, it doesn't protect your makeup. This isn't a setting spray. But the good thing about this is that you can also use it to intensify any of your glitter shadows, shimmer, or luster, or even satin. So as I explained yesterday, when you dip into your eye, you want to dip into your eyeshadow first with your brush. And I'll show you the brush to use for that in just a second. Then you want to spray it and then you can put it on, on your eyes as well. So I just love this because it's multi-purpose. I can use it for so many things, and I absolutely love the way that it makes my makeup appear. So um, a good, uh, it, it's technically a setting spray, I guess, but a good spray like this um, is definitely something you want in your starter kit for sure. Now, the next thing, after you've done your foundation and you've done your powder, you're also going to want a bronzer and a contour. Now, you do not need these. Um, I use the Kevin Aquan bronzer in medium. It looks like this. It's way too expensive. I do truly enjoy this because I think it looks um, more of a natural shadow rather than kind of a dirty look. But for each skin tone, you're going to want to be careful. There's light, um, medium, and then there's dark. So you're going to find that what you want is something that looks more on the ashy tone. Uh, NYX has a blush, and I cannot remember the name of it, but I will put it in the description. when I, I'll look it up, put it in the description. But NYX has a blush that is actually absolutely excellent for contour because it has just enough of that gray undertone that makes it um like right there you can see mine that makes it have that shadow rather than that harsh line yes the Kat Von D contour kit is good if you buy that I highly suggest that you get the one that is refillable it's a little bit more but totally worth it because I'm sure Stephanie you can agree with this you're going to find that there are certain colors in there that you use more often than not. I personally only buy the refills and I put them in a Z palette because I only use three of the colors. Taupe, that's it. Thank you, Stephanie. I only use three of the colors from the Kat Von D um, 
shade and light kit. So I just repurchased those individuals and then put them in a Z palette for myself. In my actual freelance kit, I do have the entire kit, or I do have the whole shade and light because I do so many different uh, skin tones. Now, you're also going to want a bronzer. Now, bronzers can be a little bit tricky because they can come off very, very orange. They can make you look very Oompa Loompa, like Dorito face kind of thing, and you don't want that. Um, this one, again, yes, the price tag is pretty hefty, but look at the size of this pan. Um, you get point eight ounces, which is a, that's a lot. I mean, this will last you a really long time. This is Marc Jacobs in Tantastic, number 104. Um, but there are other bronzers. Another good bronzer to use um, would be uh, the Kat Von D. Um, Benefit Hula, that's really good. And they even have a Benefit Hula Light. Um, Physicians Formula has a bronzer. I think it's called the Butter Bronzer or something like that. It smells like um, coconut. And that's also very good. I, with that one, however, I find that it doesn't last as long as I want my stuff to. Mandy, are you keeping this up, hun? I'm just going to... Oh, yeah, Angela, I will always keep everything up. Always. Stephanie, if the hula is too orange for you, truly check out the hula light. It's very, very good. I can't wear it because I'm too dark complected, but that is something that I carry in my kit because it is actually a really good contour color also for people that are really light toned. So that one is one that I keep. So a good bronzer or a drugstore bronzer. And I will be doing a drugstore tutorial when we get back home from vacation. So we've done the contour, we've done the bronzing. The next thing that you would need in your kit is a blush. Now, I personally would suggest that you go for something like this that has several colors in it from you, for you to choose from. Makeup Geek, ColourPop, they also have individual blushes that you can buy. Again, same price, six, seven dollars a piece uh, that you could make your own kit for. They are, I mean, they are about this big around per pan. So they're really, really good. But Tarte Cosmetic, and this is important, it's the Amazonian Clay blush. They have different ones, but Tarte's Amazonian Clay blushes are 100% hands down the best. I use, the, I use this um, specific brand. I use the Amazonian Clay, obviously, in many, many different colors, but I use this on every single bride that I do because this will not come off. And it is absolutely normal for blushes to be the very first thing that kind of walks away on your face. For whatever reason, blush just doesn't stay quite as long as everything else, not these. These things will last all day long. So again, um, you're gonna need a blush and I absolutely suggest the Amaz Amazonian clay, but there are blushes by Milani. There are blushes by Wet n Wild. There are blushes by Rimmel that are also very good and uh, not too expensive. If you don't mind ordering things um, online, then Makeup Geek, ColourPop, those are great quality. But no matter what, you're not going to find another blush that's going to last longer than the Tarte Amazonian Clay blushes. Then after you have your blushes, you're going to want, okay, well, this isn't a must. I mean, for me, it's a must, um, but this wouldn't be what I would consider like absolute bottom of the line. You have to have it, but um, highlighter, that is something that I would definitely suggest that you get. This is the uh, Anastasia Glow Kit, and this one is in that glow. And I find this one to be the most universally flattering. However, there are highlighters, drugstore highlighters, that are phenomenal. Um, the The highlighter that I use most on brides is by Hourglass, and it's called Dimlit. And that's because no matter what, 
Um, it never shows any texture on my brides or anything like that. And and a lot of us, especially older people like myself, you know, we get texture. That's that's our faces. We have texture. So if you highlight, that's clearly you're highlighting. You're going to highlight whatever is under your skin at that point. Again, a good reason to have a primer because it's going to even that out so that when you put things on, it's not going to show that texture quite as much. Um, for people that have quite a bit of texture, something that I would absolutely recommend. Uh, Tanya, give me one second. Ask me that again if I forget. But let me finish this thought. Um, something that I would highly recommend is the Smashbox Times Casey Holmes highlight kits. They have three in each. There's two different palettes. They do not show texture whatsoever. Anyone that watches her knows that she has a lot of skin concerns and she, she knocked it out of the park with that, uh, with those two kits because they do not show texture. So they are very good. But like I said, there are so many drugstore highlighters and wet and wild. Um, what is it called? Take me to Cabo or something like that. It's excellent. So you can go check that out. Um, I'll quickly answer the question about um, tanning bed, um, a self tanner. Uh, I use Loving Tan. That's the only one that I find doesn't make me orangish and instead gives me that true bronzy glow. They have two different ones. They have one that is the two hour express or four hour express, something like that. And then they have the overnight one. I always use the overnight one. Uh, you can order it. It's from lovingtan.com. I think the shipping used to be pretty astronomical, but I think it's gotten better because they now have a location that ships from over here. Other than that, it comes from Australia. So just Beck, you probably know exactly what Loving Tan is because that comes from Australia. It is absolutely my favorite. When I do self tan, I never self tan my face. It's There's no reason to do it because I exfoliate so often. I would just exfoliate it right away anyhow. When you are applying it, the one thing that I would suggest is getting a very dense, what would be considered a foundation brush, something like that. Um, but you want it to be about that big around the brush itself and fairly dense. Uh, get something cheap, doesn't have to be anything expensive because you're gonna use it just for your self tanning. And that is what I use around my elbows on my, okay. Paramedic doesn't know her. A and P. Um, I use that on my wrists and hands and fingers. I just take a little bit and I will set it on uh, a glass palette. I'll tap into it and then I use it just like this to brush onto my hands and around my uh, uh, wrist and um, my knees, uh, uh, ankles, and on my feet and toes. It just really makes it go. Uh, on so much better without getting that weird look that you can get. Hippie Mandy, you just glow and have the prettiest complexion, Mandy. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. So, okay, now that I answered the self-tanning, um, I'm going to go back to must-haves. So we've gotten to the highlight, blush, all of those things, um, the eyeshadow that I recommend for eyebrows. Now, there's a couple of things that you can do. If you have a eyeshadow that matches close to your own color, you can use eyeshadow. Um, a lot of people do that. So you can definitely just use an eyeshadow to fill in your brows if you would like. There are many, many different ways. There are brow pomades. There are brow pencils. Um, there are, you're welcome, Tanya. Uh, Mariah, yes, if you need to let them dry. I find with the um, Loving Tan that I only have to let mine dry about a half an hour and then I can put clothes on. So you just want to make sure that you wear loose clothing because you don't want anything to be tight around there because you're going to get marks. Don, does the self stain your sheets? Um, I wouldn't suggest that you do it right before bed. Like I said, I would give it a good couple hours before you lay down, but once it's completely dry, no, it's not going to get on your sheets. So for a good uh, eyebrow 
uh, pencil L'Oreal, the brow stylist has a great one. Um, my personal favorites would be Anastasia Beverly Hills, the brow whiz, and I use it in the color caramel. So it looks like this has the spoolie on the end. And this is what that is what the tip looks like. It's very, very, very fine. So I use this on the inner part of my eyebrows because it's a little lighter. And then um, I use the Precisely My Brow Pencil in number two for the rest of my eyebrows. It is basically the same size as the Anastasia. It's just I find this color to work better on the outsides of my eyebrows. Um, and it also comes with the spoolie. Uh, something else that you're going to want to have would be an eyebrow setting or an eyebrow setter. You can use the Anastasia Beverly Hills has a clear, they have a clear brow gel. This stuff is like super glue. Well, how am I doing this? This stuff is like super glue for your, that's not good. Well, just trust me. It's Anastasia Beverly Hills. But again, you can get some of these products in the drugstore and I truly am going to go home, you know, when we get home, I'm going to go find the best of the best uh, drugstore products and I will do one on that. But you're going to want a gel to set your eyebrows, especially if you have thick, unruly eyebrows. Um, I have thick black eyebrows that I get waxed. Do I still need an eyebrow pencil? Kimberly, I would need to see a picture. And to be honest, if your brows are already filled in and you didn't do what so many of us did, which was over pluck in the 90s, then no. I mean, I don't I don't think that people need to wear makeup just for the sake of wearing it. If you have great eyebrows, number one, I hate you. Um, number two, why, why do anything to them? If they're already great, go with it. But I would still suggest, even with the most perfect eyebrows, I would still suggest a setting gel so that you can keep them in place and make them look nice. Hippie matey. Oh, it's like a one-time buy. I'm not sure what that meant. Mr. Boots. Pixie by Petra has an eyebrow setter. Yep. There's lots of them out there. Um, but I also use the Benefit Give Me Brow. This actually has little tiny fibers in it that attach to your Just Beck. Did you, Just Beck, did you, uh, I don't know if you answered me, but did you hear me when I asked if you could DM me after this uh, so that I could ask you a couple things? Anyway, it looks, it looks like this. And I didn't set mine yet because, hi, little Rosie. Uh, I wanted to show you. So it looks, it's small like this and it has teeny, teeny, tiny little um, eyebrows are a tough call. Sometimes I look like Helga from Hey Arnold. Yeah, I, um, okay, just Beck, if you could, please, I'd appreciate that. Um, yeah, Katie, I talked to her earlier and I sent her a picture and she's like, no, absolutely not. And my husband was like, why are your eyebrows green? All I see are eyebrows coming at me. Like, I'm forever getting harassed about my eyebrows. I am getting them tattooed, but again, I'm catching it from uh, Katie and my husband about not getting that done. So uh, I think I'm still going to do it. We'll see. So anyway, I just take it, and you just lightly brush up. And I always brush my eyebrows up, not to the side, because eyebrows that sit up, automatically make it look like they're more full. So right there, you can see what it does. Jackie, that is absolutely excellent. No matter what makeup you're doing, that is the that is the most excellent advice that you could give anyone. I say that to everybody I talk to. Hi, Kit Kat, love you. I say that to absolutely everybody that I talk to about makeup. Don't stress out about it and don't try some new technique. Um, uh, my Twitter, I think it's Makeup by Mandy B. Isn't my, does anybody else know? I think it's Makeup by Mandy B. Wait, is it? I think so. I think it's Makeup by Mandy B. Um, the absolute best, that is the best advice. You don't want to try a new technique 
when you're sitting down, you're in a rush, you're getting ready to go somewhere. Don't do it then because it's not going to be fun. And if you mess someone up, it is back. It's it's makeup at man. It's makeup by Mandy B. All one word. So don't try some kind of new technique, whether it's your cat wings or uh, a new eye, you know, new eyebrows, whatever it is that you're trying that's new. Um, be right back. Going to tweet that you're live, Mandy. Be right back. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that, Kit Kat. That's so sweet. Okay. Where was I at? Um, so... What I would suggest instead is at night when you sit down to take your makeup out off, that's when you want to practice these techniques because who cares, right? Like if you screw it up, doesn't matter. Practice your wing eyeliner. Grab a credit card. Grab uh, anything with a straight edge. Grab that. Put that right on the, and you want to put it right here, right along where your bottom lash line goes, ends. You want to pretend like it's just going for further. Just Beck, you will have to unblock me first. Didn't know how that happens. Okay, I will. Uh, how can I tell what colors are best for my eyes? Um, little Rosie, we will. We can talk about that. But basically, if you look at the color wheel, it's going to be, and you can find the color wheel on the internet. And uh, thank you, Mr. Boots. Okay, let me finish this. I'm getting sidetracked. So take a credit card or a business card, anything that has a straight edge. And the what I do or what I suggest other people do, what I did when I was first learning is that I would actually take scotch tape and put it there. And then I would use eyeshadow so that then when I removed the tape, the eyeshadow would already leave that line. So I had something to go on. But practice it. Hi, Tracy. Practice it every night until you get it. And that goes with any new technique that you're going to try. Don't try it when you're doing your makeup and you're in a rush. That's going to fail every time. And then you're going to be frustrated. So do it at night when it doesn't matter. You're just going to take it off. Practice it. Um, hi, Crystal. Uh, practice it a few times. And I guarantee that no matter what the technique is that you're trying to achieve, you'll get it. Absolutely. Um, what was the other? Someone else had asked me something. Oh, the color wheel. Yeah. Um, so you can find the color wheel on the internet anywhere. And um, I hope you feel better, Tracy. Bless your heart. This is going to be a good year for you, though. I'm, I'm certain. I am positive this is going to be a great year for you, girl. And, of course, once again, I just lost my train of thought. Mm. somebody help me. What were we just talking about that I was going to, oh, the color wheel. Oh my gosh. So you can go look it up online, put in whatever your eye color is, then you want to go the absolute, you want to go to the opposite side. So for me, I have green eyes, purples, mauves, um, bronzes, things like that. They all look really good on green eyes. So blue eyes, um, if you, if you have, if you have brown eyes, honestly, you can wear any color, all going to look good on you for sure. Hi, Laura, Kit Kat. Thank you for tweeting it. I appreciate that. I, that's really sweet of you. I appreciate any of you ladies that are sharing my channel. I, I really do. I, I came in as you guys know, late and then they, uh, changed everything. So I'm nowhere near where I need to be, um, for my channel. So, um, hopefully Hopefully that'll happen at some point. Mama Cat, Mandy, do you, are you ever too old to wear a cat eye? Absolutely not. You are never too old to wear anything that you want. You are never too old to have purple hair. You are never too old to dress the way that you want to dress. Um, you bought the e.l.f. lip scrub yesterday and I love it. Yes, it's really, really good, isn't it? Thank you, Just Beck. I appreciate that. You're never too old for anything. Do what makes you feel good. The, if I could get every person to give not even one single thought to what somebody else might think about them, I, I would feel like I had accomplished the world. Don't 
you cannot be worried about someone else. Why would you be worried about them? Are they paying your bills? Um, are you with them? I don't, who cares? It just doesn't matter. Um, you know, I had some comments about what kind of doctor will be married to somebody with purple hair and pink hair and blue hair and all the different colors that um, I had. And the answer is my kind of doctor. Uh, he didn't care. It's my hair. What does it matter? It, it doesn't matter. If I had no hair, it's not going to matter. If you are with someone that is telling you what you should and shouldn't do or how you should and shouldn't look and what you should and shouldn't wear, you are with the wrong person, period. Get away. And if you're doing that to yourself, then you're with the wrong person inside. And you need to start telling yourself every single day, I am beautiful. I am strong. I am confident. And I know that the whole phrase is fake it till you make it. You don't have to fake it. Just say it. Say it to yourself over and over, out loud, all the time, in your car, what in the bathroom while you're getting ready you are beautiful we are all made in the image of god and he makes zero mistakes there is nothing wrong with the way any of us look no disabilities only different abilities everybody remember that and one thing that i find is 100% sure way to boost your self esteem is every single day that you leave the house or you go to get the mail or I don't I don't care no matter what even if you're online every single day make it a point to go up to a complete stranger and give them a compliment there is something about every single person that deserves a compliment. Do they have beautiful eyes? Do you love the shirt that they're wearing? Do you like their glasses? Do you love their hair? You can find something to compliment somebody on in every single person. I don't care who they are. And I mean that. I truly, I don't care who they are. And when you do that, when you make the effort to go out of your way, which is simple enough to go up to someone and tell them, you look, you look beautiful today, that your eyes are stunning. Your hair looks amazing. That outfit looks so great on you. I, I love that highlight. I love those earrings. That necklace is gorgeous. It, whatever it is. I love the shoes. Whatever it is, you can find something good in everyone. And I promise you, if you make an effort to do that every single day, your self-confidence is going to go up. I promise you, because once you start recognizing the true beauty in others and you make a point to, sorry about that Kit Kat, I got it. When you make a point to go out of your way and give someone else a compliment, your brain and your eyes are going to be trained to start looking for the beauty in everything. And that will include yourself. You will start seeing the beauty in yourself. So do that. I challenge each and every one of you today to go out of your way to say something to someone at Walmart or at your job. Um, people you don't like, they are the ones that are going to make the biggest difference for you if you can find a compliment to pay to them. Because if you can find the beauty in them, you absolutely can find the beauty in yourself. Sorry that I went on that rant. So, on to the next. Uh, I talked about the eyeshadows, talked about blushes, talked about powders. Um, eyeliners, there's several ways to go. Um, you can go like this. Um, this is a gel liner. You can use this, and I'll show you the brush that you would use with that. Um, there's also uh, pencil eyeliners, which you sharpen. Um, I use these a lot in my kits because I can sharpen them every single time I use them, and then that way they're always sanitary. I just wipe them down with alcohol, sharpen them, spray my, uh, you know, my 
pencil sharpener with alcohol and then sharpen them. And then they're always uh, sanitary. So I use pencil brushes a lot. Um, for me personally, my very favorite eyeliners are the Marc Jacob Highliners. These things don't budge, y'all. You put this somewhere and they're going absolutely nowhere. You put black on the top and another color on, or, you know, you put black on your uh, tight line, which is the top and like, you know, a brighter color or whatever on your waterline, which is the bottom, and they are not going to mix together. It's absolutely fantastic. I love this. Uh, NYX also has a ton of eyeliners that are fantastic as far as drugstore goes. Um, you're definitely going to want a brown and you're going to want a black. Those are two must-haves. And then the others you can just add on. But those are two for a beginner's kit that you absolutely want, a brown and a black because you want to do the black on your uh, tight line that makes your eyelashes look like they're thicker and then brown you can always use on your waterline and it won't be so harsh as a black would. So I would highly suggest that. The other thing that you can do is with your palettes, instead of getting a bunch of different eyeshadows, you can get a brush, which I will show you. You can dip it into whatever color you want to have as a um, of an eyeliner, spray it with a little MAC Fix Plus or whatever your spray is, and then you can use that as an eyeliner as well. So there's tons of different options as far as that goes. Just back, I only use pencil liners. They are better for clients. Yes, they absolutely are. Um, next, um, for eye primers, by Tanya. Okay, thank you so much. You have a blessed day as well, sweetie. Um, for primers, everybody knows, at least if you've watched my channel before, that I use the Matt Mac Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. It is my favorite because it's emollient. I like the consistency of this. It's a little bit thicker. It covers up all of my um. Um, discoloration on my eyelids and plus I know that things will never ever transfer so this is what I use but like I told you before uh, Maybelline has some L'Oreal has some you can use foundation you can use your concealer but you definitely want to prime your eyes before you put your shadows on so an eye primer is a must in a in a beginner's kit uh, we've already done eyeshadows we've done eyebrows um, eyeliners, um, let's see here. You want something to exfoliate your lips. And like I've told you guys, I love this one by e.l.f. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love this. Just Beck, you use concealer. Um, but Wait, I tend to use concealer on myself, but use eye primer on my clients. Yeah, I use just, I, I use MAC Paint Pot on everybody. I have um, Soft Oak, Ochre, and shoot, I can't remember um, the name of the other one that I have in my kit. I keep that in my kit, but on myself, I use the uh, Soft Ochre by MAC. Um, then you want to make sure that you have a few different lipsticks. Now, you can get lipsticks anywhere. Milani has some great ones. Wet n Wild has some great ones. Uh, CoverGirl, Revlon, all of them. But if you find, you're going to find that the prices of those are not much cheaper than something like by Kat Von D or Galactic or even um, uh, Mac, any of those. Um, Makeup Geek has them. So um, I would suggest that you definitely have a nude, some kind of a nude color that will go with absolutely everything. And then I would I would suggest that you get at least one more that is a bright, vibrant color that you can use at other times. Um, and by doing so, you can mix them together as well to create your own. There are palettes out there. I carry one in my makeup kit. Um, yeah, painterly. Thank you. Lace, uh, lace. That's, that's the other one. That's the one that I carry. So, um, so I would get, I would, I would definitely have a nice nude color. And then I also, um, carry a much lighter nude 
because then depending on what my client's complexion is, I can lighten it up. Or if they want an ombre effect, which is what I'm going to do today, then I can do that as well. I carry a the Anastasia lip kit in my uh, freelance kit because I can do almost any color at all. But to be completely honest, almost everybody wants a nude lip, maybe a little bit of a rose tone with a gloss, which is also something I would suggest that you get. Now, this was the Mariah Carey line, um, but it's gorgeous. It's It has like little sparkles in it. Um, and this is what I put on top of almost all of my um, lipsticks. Um, also, you want a good lip liner. Again, you can get this from the drugstore, but you're absolutely gonna want one that is flesh tone. This will allow you to overdraw. If you get one that is flesh toned, it'll go with every single lipstick that you have. It doesn't matter. Should your lipstick kind of match your eyebrows? Oh, your eyeshadow. I was going to say, what the heck? No. Um, this year, that is a very big thing to do the monochromatic look. A lot of people are doing that. But when you, you, do, when you say, should it match your eyeshadow? Um, it doesn't need to match it color for color, although that is trending. However, I personally don't care when they're care for the look of a bunch of different competing things. So if I have a really bold look, then I'm typically going to wear a nude lip. If I have a very bright lip, I'm probably going to have more of a nude look on my eyes, if that makes sense. Um, but like I said, in 2018, you're going to see this coming into the spring. The monochromatic looks are going to be huge. You're going to be seeing a lot of people with super bright pinks again, like in the 80s and 90s, uh, with lipstick that matches. You're going to be seeing a lot of purple chromatic, um, things like that. And then I suspect as we get into the fall of 2018, you'll be seeing a lot of bronzes and coppers and things like that, uh, browns that are monochromatic as well. But you just don't want to do a really, really bright, bright eye um, with another really, really bright lipstick. To me, it just competes too much, and I don't think that that um, I don't I don't personally care for that look. But remember, anything that I say here is my opinion. It is your face. You're the artist. I would never go up to a Picasso. Well, obviously now I wouldn't, but even that, you know, you're not going to go up to someone that is a painter and say, oh, you know, actually what would look better is if you did this, like just stay in your lane and I'm going to stay in mine. So everything that I say to you, these are simply suggestions. It is your face. You're the one that's going to be expressing yourself and being artistic. And I encourage you to do that. Be artistic. Use your face as a canvas. Do whatever you want. Ultimately, it doesn't matter what anyone else um what anyone else thinks. It just it just doesn't matter. This is life. It 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 doesn't matter what anybody else thinks, only what you think about yourself and um for me what what God thinks. That is ultimately the only one that I'm concerned about. Uh, you also want a good mascara. So I personally love the Tarte line, the Lights Camera Flashes. They also have one called Lights Camera Splashes, which is the waterproof. Hi, Kim. No problem. And it, the one that is the Lights Camera Splashes, now that's no joke. That is probably the most waterproof mascara I've ever run across in my entire life. It is so hard to get off. Um, so I really like this lights camera flashes. Uh, so a good mascara, um, L'Oreal has a really great, um, mascara. It's in a pink, um, tube that kind of looks like the Too Faced better than sex. You can pick that up at the drugstore and also Essie has an incredible, uh, mascara and I believe it's called Princess Lash. It's black and it has like, um, green, um, little like thingies around it. Yeah. L'Oreal Paradise. Thank you, Sarah's Life. That's exactly what it is. Um, the LC one is only a couple bucks and man, that stuff is no joke. It's great. I love it. It's so, so, so good. So those are 
the things that, um, oh, concealer. I actually left it over there. But I use the Tarte, really? I use the Tarte Shape, Tarte Shape, hmm. Blah, blah, blah. I use the Tarte Shape Tape. Uh, this is the one that I use for when I'm doing cream contour. But um, this is the best concealer on the market. No, nothing even comes close. Nothing. It is absolutely fantastic. So and I think it's I think it's like 20, 22 bucks, something like that. But y'all, this a little bit goes such, such a long way. Um, but there it, there are drugstore versions as well. The Age Rewind by Maybelline in the color Neutralize, fantastic. It, that is a great concealer as well. And in fact, I carry that along with the tape shape or shape tapes. What is my, really? Um, I carry those in my kit because it is so, so, so good at covering up uh, darkness under your eyes. There are other things that I do as far as color correcting, stuff like that. But that is not what I would consider um, for a basic kit. Um, you definitely want an eyelash curler for your basic kit. That is something that you absolutely need. 100% you have to have an eyelash curler. Um, you also want, do I have them over here? Luxo might have taken them. I think he was cutting something open last night. And of course, we'll use my scissors that uh, he shouldn't be. To cut something open. Nope, nope, nope. I'm sorry. Never mind. Glad he doesn't watch my videos. Um, a pair of scissors like this to cut your fake eyelashes. So something really, really small that you can get in there and trim your eyelashes and also trim your eyebrow hairs. Um, when you do that, you want to make sure that you push them up and just trim the very top. Just don't go all crazy on it. Uh, this is actually by Velour. This was sent to me along with some lashes. But this is a lash applicator. You guys, these things are gold. You can use tweezers, but the angle on these just makes it so amazing to get in there and really clamp those on and help them help place the eyelashes. So something like this, I would definitely um, suggest picking up if you are going to be getting into eyelashes. So those are the things that I would consider to be must-haves for a starter kit. Um, and then now I'm going to do the eyeshadow look. I'm going to answer some of these questions. I'm going to go back through and answer some of these questions really quick. And then we're going to start on the everyday eyeshadow look with the Jaclyn Hill and also finishing up the rest of my face. Oh, and um, the other day someone asked me what was on my nails. And it is the Ciate. Um, of London and it is in the color moon dust and it, that's what it looks like It's like purple With little sparkles All right, so let me answer the questions now remember I'm gonna go over the brushes hi Vixen. I'm gonna go over the brushes when um, I'm doing my actual eye look All right, let's see here. If you guys asked something earlier, that's too hard for me to try and go back and look. So if you asked something earlier that I didn't ask, can you just ask it again? And I will um, answer it. Uh, just back Australia. I'm too scared to use an eyelash curler. I used it for years then cut my eyelashes off Once now I'm too scared to use one. How did you cut them off? Did you already have mascara on or something when you did it? Carmen what is the best way to hide large pores a good primer um, and a beauty blender hands down That's the that's the best way to cover large pores. There is absolutely nothing That you can do to shrink your pores. I don't care what the product says as far as skincare goes There is nothing that is going to decrease the size of your pores. All you can do is fill them in basically like spackle them in 
And I really like this Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For No Filter Mattifying Primer and Complexion Perfector. This is really, really good. But there are tons of primers out there. You just want to make sure, yes, Katie, the putty stuff. You just want to make sure that you find one that specifically says um, pore filling. If you find one that says pore filling, make sure when you put it on, you press it into your face. You don't want to just rub it like that. You actually want to press it in just like you would if you were filling holes because technically that's exactly what you're doing. Uh, just back. No, I didn't have mascara on, but I think the pads were worn out. Yeah, you definitely want to replace those. I use the one by Tarte and I love it. think it's great. Sarah's Life. I need to go walk my fur babies. I'll be back after that. Have a good live stream. Thank you, Sarah's Life. I appreciate it. Beautiful. You're welcome, Carmen. Um, I have large pores and I use L'Oreal Magic Blur Cream. Yeah, that's another one. I personally didn't care for that one, but again, I'm very oily and I have to be careful with the primers that I use because things can get super pilly on me really fast. Meaning if I put it on and then I go to put my foundation on top, it'll pill up. You'll get the little pieces that start to um, come out or come off and that's, I, I can't deal with that. I can't put my makeup on and then have to handle that. Carmen, the only primer I have is Rimmel. Go to Sephora, go to Ulta, go to a department store and ask them for um, some samples of primers and give them a try and see which one you like. Um, makeup Forever has some amazing pore filling primers as well. Yes, Vixen, absolutely. That is a good one. Elf. Mm -hmm. Just back. Oh, and also what to do with the nose. Mine goes flaky no matter what I do. Then it's not moisturized enough. That's I've, I've heard so many people say stuff like that and they are like, I don't understand. The rest of my skin's fine. Why is my nose always so flaky? It's because it doesn't have enough moisturizer. So you absolutely want to make sure that you're putting something super duper thick on there. If it's so bad that no moisturizer that you have We'll fix it. Put a little bit, a tiny little bit of Vaseline on the places that are peeling at night before you go to bed. Sleep in it, of course. Wash it off in the morning, and you don't need to cake it on. But I'm telling you, the Vaseline will absolutely heal that for sure. Tracy, have you tried Katie Makeup Forever? Yes, that is absolutely one of the best ones. Uh, Tracy, have you tried the new Tarte Foundation? I am going to be doing a review and wear test. Uh, when I get back, I know that there's been a lot of videos made. I have not watched any yet because I want to form my own opinion on it. Um, but I've been watching and the way that I'm going to do it, I haven't seen a single person do it that way yet. So I will be doing a wear test when I get back home on um, that foundation. Also on the Giorgio Armani, the new um, matte foundation that he just came out with. Uh, that should be waiting on me as well. Um, I, Jackie says, I take really hot flushes. What? I take really bad hot flushes and foundation always comes off at the top of my forehead. Anything extra that I could do? Jackie, are you using a primer? And if so, what kind? Because you need, you may need to multi prime like what I have to, because I'm super oily right here. But my forehead is dry as the desert. So I have to use a very, very luminizing um, primer on my forehead because it's so incredibly dry. But this part of my face is so oily. Like you can see already. And I just put this on right before I came on camera. But you can see already how oily I'm getting. It's just the way it is. But that's because I didn't set anything with powder or any of that stuff. Uh, no setting spray, stuff like that, because I wanted to do that on camera. Um, oh, what about coconut oil? Is that good to use on your face? Yeah, just back. It's good. Uh, I think it's overrated. I think um, people are, it, it seems to be a fad. Um, coconut oil or actually coconut butter um, is really good as a sun protectant. So if you're going out in the sun, I highly recommend using it. Um, you can use coconut oil for sure. But if you're truly having that much difficulty with um, your nose being flaky, like I said, I put Vaseline on there and um, do that. I put Vaseline on my forehead every single night, even though I use the Lancer method.
for my skincare, I will still put a little bit of Vaseline right on those spots. Yes, Katie, a good setting spray. Absolutely. That's very important. Actually, and that's the other thing that I would tell you that you absolutely need in your makeup kit is a setting spray. I brought the Morphe one with me, but I have several at home that I use. The Urban Decay All Nighter is my number one favorite. Um, when I'm for my kit, for my freelance kit, I use stuff by Krylon. I have two. One that you spray after the foundation, all of your all of your cream products, and then one that you spray after you're completely finished. And I mean, that stuff will, it's used for stage makeup, so it doesn't go anywhere. Um, I'm using the Hourglass Mineral Veil and Makeup Forever Smoothing. That's very good. Um, what about a setting spray? Are you doing that? Vixen, I break out from coconut oil as well. I can't use it. The Vaseline is what I use. Where did I see? Alex is going to prune. He's been gone for a while. I know, right? He's been down there forever. How, Katie, what about the eyebrows? Are they okay? Are they green? I bought the new Shape Cake Foundation and I bought all the light shades. They all oxidize very orange on me. Oh, no. Well, I will be doing a wear test when I get home to find out. Um, Jason and Miranda. Hi, new watcher here. So glad I tuned in learning new stuff here. My forehead is really dry too. Well, hi, thank you for coming. And, um, I hope that you subscribe. I really appreciate it. And greenish brown. Thanks, Katie. See, everybody, everybody needs a friend like Katie and Vixen because both of them have absolutely no problem telling me when I look ridiculous. Those, that's a real friend. If you have somebody that will tell you that you look horrible, so hold on to them. That's a true friend. Um, welcome, Miranda. Oh, thank you, Vixen. I appreciate that. Yes, everybody, please welcome Miranda. Ma Mama Cat, I live in Texas, and when it's hot out, it's useless to try to wear makeup. Seems like it all turns to cake and runs up. Uh, maybe it just the makeup I see people use. You know, listen, I live in Florida. So, you know, I'm doing weddings in June and July when it's absolutely humid and so hot that everything's melting off. There are ways that you apply your makeup that will make it last and be bulletproof through absolutely everything. Uh, Jackie says, yes, using Urban Decay, but I'm thinking I might just try another setting spray. What was the Krylon one that you mentioned? Um, that's what it's called. It's, it's by Krylon. And Jackie, if you send me a DM on Twitter, I will actually send you the link to where you can get it. It's very, very good. Mama Three Boys, you look rested. I need a vacay. Yes, I am. I am very rested. Um, we've had a good time. We're going to go to dinner tonight. We haven't even been able to go to the beach, not even one time, because it's been absolutely freezing here. But today, I think it's around 72. The wind is just crazy, though. Kimberly, Mississippi humidity is awful. Yeah, so is Florida. I mean, it's 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 pretty warm. Lace with Lacey. I got the Elf Prep and Hydrate Balm. I'm humping it as it feels good on my face. Jackie, great. Thank you. No problem, Jackie. Please do. Just back. I live in Australia and had to find new ways to keep my makeup on all day long. Yeah, absolutely. And it's trial and error. It took me a while coming from Ohio, moving to Florida. It's a you know, completely different people with completely different skin types here than in Ohio, as well as the heat. And, you know, for my brides, I, when I do their makeup, I need that to last for, you know, 16 hours. It, it's got to be able to last in the time I put it on to, through photography, through the crying that they're going to do. Um, and then, you know, the reception and then all of that stuff. So you definitely learn how to do different things when, um, when you're working in this kind of humidity. Lace said, I was hoping you would read it out loud. Wait, did I not read it out loud, loud Lace? I got the Elf Prep and Hydrate Balm. I'm humping it as we speak. Feels so good on my face. 
I wasn't sure if you really meant to say that you were humping it though. That was, that was odd. Good setting spray and good primer. What are you asking? What's a good setting spray and a good primer? Just Beck. Yes, I'm just messing with you. Thanks, Lace. I know that was funny. Well, I don't know if Just Beck was asking that, but a good setting spray, um, like I said, is the Urban Decay All Nighter. It's actually made by Scandinavia, which is who I buy mine from because I get a discount with them. But it's the same thing. And then um, a good primer, um, the ones that I use, I use the Sicily, the Sicily primer. Let me see if I can block the light. There we go. Um, this is the one that I use. And this one. I use both of these together. So I use the Sicily first and then the Peter Thomas Roth. No, I was just saying I had to find a good setting spray and primer. Okay, gotcha. Just back to Australia, get a lot of products like America's. Yes. Okay. So now I've answered all those questions. Like I said, as I go through this tutorial, then I will talk about um, the brushes that I use. Yes, Kimberly, that is the $250 primer. Correct. I think that's why Yabba's boycotting my um, channel. Okay. Oh, it's two twenty one in Canada, Vixen. That's cheaper. I order almost everything online. I I I hardly ever leave the house. Okay, so let's do an everyday eye look. Um, I wanted to ask you guys when I do my next tutorial. Would you like to see me use the Stila Magnificent Metals. I have, man, you can't see these colors because of that light. There we go. So I have these three and then I also have the red. So if you would like to see that, um, then I can do that for one of my next videos as well. So let's go ahead and get into the eye tutorial now. Um, I've already done my lips, so I'm going to wash off the, really? Yeah, I have two more coming. Tracy, I just ordered their newest ones, um, which look even prettier than the ones that I have. Okay, so as you can see, I'm definitely, um, oily right now. So just real fast, I'm going to grab my beauty blender. 122 on Amazon. Do I think it's fake? A hundred percent it's fake. There's no way that that's real. Okay. Thank you. Just Beck. Just remember, um, I will unblock you and then, um, remember to, uh, um, shoot me a message so that I can, uh, ask you that. Okay, so I'm just going to touch up real fast. The specials for Sephora only are gorgeous. Yes. So I'm just going to quickly touch up where I'm oily. And I am using the Guerlain um, Pressed Meteor Light Power, the Powder. I love it. I think it gives you a flawless finish, and it's fantastic to cover pores, which I will show you here in just one second. Okay, so shine gone, pores gone. Yeah, any honestly, just don't buy makeup off of Amazon. In all honesty, just buy makeup from Sephora, from um, Beautylish. Okay, thanks, Just Beck. Um, 
from the actual manufacturers themselves. Don't buy makeup from eBay or Amazon, stuff like that. It, you're just, you're really just taking a chance and it could, it could really hurt you. So just don't do it. I just, I just wouldn't personally do it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up my face really fast. And since this was an everyday look, um, I didn't do any cream contouring or anything like that. Um, okay, Beck, thank you. I'll find you. Uh, Vixen, can you screenshot that? for me um and send it to me so that i have her um twitter address so i want to do my blush for my blush i use the it cosmetics brush by alta um real techniques has amazing brushes and even wet and wild has really good brushes as well. I personally like the tapered brush and I just really do enjoy this brush. I think it places it well. Thank you, Vixen. I think it places it well. I have a lot of control, so I enjoy that. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my brush. I'm gonna tap it off. And when I apply blush, I like to dab it. Dab, that's what my nephew says. Ugh. So I like to dab it on rather than going like that. I feel like I have more control when I'm doing this. And I put my blush on heavier at first because I'm gonna be blending it here in, in just a minute. Good afternoon, Gary. So that is the brush that I would suggest. But like I said, you can get um, a good blush brush from Real Techniques, Wet n Wild, whatever, but you definitely want a blush brush. Another brush that you're going to want is one for just setting your powder, a big fluffy brush. This also is the It Cosmetics from, uh, for Ulta. It's the brand that they make um, just for Ulta. It is so incredibly soft, super duper fluffy, and it is really good for just putting your loose powder on and once again i would always be pressing except for on my neck where i can do this if you go in and you start really going like that you're going to move your makeup around which you don't want to do so a good powder brush big fluffy powder brush um, and again real techniques um, i'm not sure if wet n wild actually does have a fluffy brush like that but you really want it to be soft yet dense so there's a lot of bristles there but it's incredibly soft and moves really easily. That's some, that is another brush that you're going to want. Now I'm gonna do my bronzer. This is not a brush that you need, this specific one. But again, you just want something that is big and fluffy. Hi, Kentucky Chick. You want something that's big and fluffy like this because you want it to be more diffused rather than concentrated like a um, contour brush, which I'm gonna show you next. So I'm just gonna dip that in there. And when I bronze, I like to bronze the tops of my cheeks. On my nose, chin, and then down my neck. Yes, this is the Marc Jacobs, uh, both. The brush is the Marc Jacobs brush and the bronzer is the Marc Jacobs Tantastic. But again, a brush for bronzing, you just want it to be nice and fluffy so that it diffuses it and isn't so compact like what my um, contour brush is. So for my contour, I like to use the NARS Eda brush because I can literally get right there and go in, and it's very precise. So something that is like this is great for um, doing your contour, but you can also use a brush like this, just a little bit, just a little bit bigger than this. This is a Sephora brush. 
but this is actually very good as well. And I will show you why. Okay. Didn't I just have? What did I do with it? Well, I don't know what I just did with my Kevin Aquan. Oh, I don't think I even brought it over. Anyway, um, this works really well because you can put it right there and keep it very, very close as well. So a brush like this. Oh, thank you, Kentucky. I swear she is the best with makeup. Thank you. I appreciate that. Melody, yeah, the Marc Jacobs bronzer is really, really good. It's not orangey at all. It's just, it's really, really good. Okay. Then for your highlighter, I have the Anastasia A23, and it is definitely my favorite to use. But you can get anything that is synthetic like this. So if you see, it's going to have, it's, um, see how it's different colors like that? Um, I also use these. Um, this is by Morphe. Um, and they will also put it on really well. Hi, Candace. How are you? I'm glad I don't have to do makeup. I'm lost. Hi, <laughs> Gary. That's funny. Miss Holly. Mandy, I'm at work. Can't stay. Wanted to say hi. Thank you, Miss Holly. I appreciate it. Hi, Rosie Posey. How are you? I think this one is by Crown Brush. No, this is Luxie. Um, so anything, any of these type brushes, like right here, these are really good to do highlighting with. Yes, that's my highlighter brush too. I've been loving the Hourglass Metallic Strobing Palette. My son got me. Oh, that's great, Melody, and that is a really good palette too. So today I'm going to be using Bubbly. And... Bring you up a little bit closer. And I'm just going to take it right on the high points of my cheeks. And I bring it up and around right on top of the edge of my eyebrow, right, right here as well. Hi, Maya mom. How are you? I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. like that oh thank you it's i'm in the natural light i'm sitting right in front of the window and then i like to take a little bit down my nose and then always on the top of my lip for when i overdraw my lips so that is what the highlighter should look like and then i'm going to set it to the side because i'm going to use it again when i'm finished with my eyes to highlight the inner corner of my eyes. <coughs> so we're going to do just a nice neutral eye look today. So the first thing that I'm going to do is grab my brush that I use to do my priming. And I use the Sigma Precision Flat Angled P88. It looks just like this. It's just a very dense angled brush. And this is what I use to put on my primer. And you guys have seen me do this a million times. You know that when I get it out, I always like to put some on my hand like that. So that I don't apply too much at one time. And I'm just going to quickly do that. Um... And actually, you can see, like, you see what this eye looks like without it. And then I'll show you what it looks like with it. And I don't know. Can you guys see my eyelashes at all? Like, am I close enough that you can see them? Mm. It's hard to see them. But um, that's from that little lash that I use. <coughs> the eye primer that I'm using is the MAC Paint Pot in uh, Soft Ochre. But I use this Lil Lash, and you can only get this on eBay, and you can only get it out of the one that actually says authentic out of New York City, because this stuff is amazing. Man, my mom's using it, but man, it makes your eyelashes grow. No joke. It's so good. Simply, I am horrible at using my hands for primer. What do you mean? 
Okay, so I'm just going to finish priming this eye really quickly. Oh, and the reason I like it to be tapered is because when I'm doing like up around my eyebrows like this, I'm just twisting. So see, I'm not even moving the brush. All I did was twist it. So I'm just twisting it in a circle. And then that way I get it really, really close to my eyebrow without it going above. And I'm just going to bring it out a little bit to the side here and pat that out. Now, you can also use this to carve out your eyebrows if that is something that you enjoy. I personally don't like that look, so I don't do that. And I have never had a client yet ask me to do that kind of look. I use my fingers instead of brushes and trying not to. Yeah, um, brushes really are just are so much better. They really, really are. If you're just putting your primer on, there's nothing wrong with using your hands, though, warming it up um, in your hand like that and then pressing it into your pores. But the less you touch your face technically is the better because you are going to spread bacteria. Now, I'm just really quickly going to just take just my middle finger here, and you don't want... To apply much pressure at all and all i'm doing is barely patting it and that's just because i want to make sure that i don't have too much on there now as soon as i do that eye yes jason uh, and or i'm sorry miranda yes i always put things on my hand um because i can always pick more up but man if you get more too much on your brush then it's a nightmare so the next thing that i want is just a great big fluffy brush um let me see. Actually, I wouldn't call this fluffy, but you could use a fluffy brush, whatever. But this is the one I use is the Sigma Precision Round uh, P82. And it's just like that. And I actually use this to set my eyes. I'm pretty sure both of these are very. Yeah. Hold on a second. I got to grab my. I'm going to grab my uh, palette to set it because those are both very shimmery. And you do not want to set your eyes with a shimmery um, eyeshadow. You definitely want to set it with a matte eyeshadow. I use brushes with everything except primer, so going to try a new brush. Kimberly, you should do a video on how you did your makeup back in junior high, high school. I love watching those. I I could totally do that. That's for sure. That would be That would be funny. I am I graduated in 93, so I'm sure you can all imagine what it looked like. Okay, so I'm just gonna set this. And the reason you want to set your primer is because it'll keep it from creasing, but it will also make blending your eyeshadows out so much easier. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly again. Most of that off right there. I'm gonna go and do this eye. So I mean, you can see the difference, and you know that your shadows are gonna show up much, much better on this eye than they would if you just went straight in like this. So again, I'm gonna just put it on there. And then when I get up here at the top, again, do you see I am just twisting the brush into a circle? And that way it gets very close to my eyebrows without going over. That's why I really like this tapered brush for this purpose. And I'm just going to fill the rest in real quick. The hotel, I think, is having their little um, party out there. So I hope I don't get a copyright strike or them playing music because that is not me. There's a new beauty tag going around, and I got tagged, so I wanted to ask if I could tag you. It's questions on your channel and favorites. Nothing major. Sure, absolutely. I'm actually going to um, go live later on 
with a question and answer um, with nothing out of bounds. I'm going to answer everyone's questions. So, um, yeah, go ahead. I'll probably have already answered them, but maybe not. Definitely tag me in it. Okay. So I'm just going to set this eye as well. And when I'm not filming and I'm just doing my makeup, I'm, I can have my makeup done in an hour. Um, if I'm doing one of like one of these, just like an everyday look, I can be done in about 45 minutes. So um, it's just because, um, you know, I'm talking to you guys that it takes uh, a lot longer for me to do so, even a everyday look. So right now I'm going into Beam. And this is where I like to do my highlighting first. I'm sure anybody that's watched my videos, you already know that I do this. So I like to put it right at the top there. And then that way when I do my other colors, it will automatically blend out some and it's not that actual super duper bright at the top, which I do not care for. Okay. And for that, I use the Sigma Cut Crease um, because you can actually use this to use for concealer to cut that crease out. I use another brush for that when I'm doing it. I use the Sigma Shader Lid E56. This is the one that I use for um, any of the creams like I did the, um, in my last video when I did the mermaid look. I used this with the black eyeshadow or the black eyeliner to lay that down. So even though this is technically a cut crease brush, I actually prefer something smaller like this because of my hooded eyes. I have much more control over it with something like that. Now, this would not be something that I would consider a necessity. That's why I didn't put that into that realm and say this is necessary because I don't believe that that's an actual necessary brush. Now, a brush that is necessary is a blending brush. You definitely want a blending brush. And mine, along with everybody else in the world's favorite, is the MAC 217. I'm going to take my Vera Mona color switch. Hi, Metallic. How are you? The pictures of the kids. Oh, my goodness. And the one where you were, like, sitting on the kitchen floor with your kids, like having lunch or whatever you guys were doing. That was so absolutely adorable. I just, I love your pictures. They're just so sweet. Okay, so um, the MAC 217, but there are others that you can get. Like I said, there's Wet n Wild, there's Real Techniques, but this is the one that I use, is that, uh, is the MAC 217 for my, uh, transition. Now, a transition shade is what goes in between your mobile lid and your brow. So right here, that is your transition area. Have you ever tried Max new brushes? I have not. Okay, so the first color that I'm going to go in with is, I'm, I'm looking for the names, guys. Give me a second here. Uh, it is Silk Cream. That's the first color that I'm going to use. Just going to tap that off. And I am going to start. And remember, you always want to place it first um, wherever you want the most pigment. So when you go to put anything on, you don't want to just start right here because then you're going to get a big slap of pigmentation right in the middle. So just make sure that when you first put your brush down, you're always putting it on the outside of your eye and then bringing it in. So with this color, I'm just going to... Sweep that back and forth with windshield wiper motions. And then when I get to the outside, I do more circular motions. And that is because the trend is finally shifting from the very, very pointed shape to now a more rounded out look on the corners, which I enjoy a lot more. I'm going to get a little bit more. Put that right on there. And I like to take mine up quite high. Once again, because my eyes are so hooded, I like it to go up a lot higher. That way I have more lid space to work with. Okay. 
<laughs> That's so cute. Oh, that's adorable. All right, I'm going to go to the other eye now. As you see, back and forth, windshield wiper motions. I'm not taking it too far into the corner this time because, again, we're not doing a dramatic look. This is just a simple, everyday look. And you can also, I've done this many times. You can also use whatever bronzer that you used on your face as your transition transition color as well. It'll work fine every time as well. And I'm taking it very high up. As you can see, when I get to the outside, I'm doing circular motions inside windshield wiper motions. So just like that, that's blending. Now you're gonna find that I'm actually going to use the same brush for my for the three colors that I'm gonna be using. I'm actually gonna put a little bit more on this eye. Yeah, you guys can see that. So there's that. I can't stand the point only because I never get it right. Well, if you still want the point, the best way to do it is just really blow it out to the side. And then, like I said, like I've showed you before, take a makeup wipe and go straight up like that. But just make sure that you're doing your eyes first. That's how I always got my lines straight. You can also use um, scotch tape as well. Lace says, pretty, your blending is amazing. Thank you. It just takes time. It's not, it's not fast. I mean, blending is not a, that's not something fast that you can do. And you know what? I completely forgot because I was talking about all the things that are good to use. I forgot to spray my face after I powdered everything. So one other thing that I would suggest everybody pick up, and you can get this from Amazon, is a fan. And then just spray your face and fan it. And then all that powder that you just put on will just blend in. Oh, yeah. Stephanie said, or um, Candace, oh, yeah. Candace says, oh, yeah, the wipe. I totally forgot. Yes, definitely. Okay. So, like, can you guys see? How much that just takes away the color, uh, I mean, the consistency of any powder, it really just makes it look like skin now again, too. I have been spraying after power and powder and love it, Candace says. It, it's, it like is life changing, right? Yeah, Fix Plus is a must for me. Mariah, same thing. Absolutely. Okay, so the first one that I used was Silk Cream, if you remember. The next one that I'm going to use is Butter. And it's a little bit deeper. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to place it just a smidge below where we put silk cream. And again, holding my brush at the end. Not like this. Like don't, you're not drilling. You're not, you're not drilling in there. You want to hold your brush just like an artist would hold theirs. So I'm going to go back into butter. I'm going to go to this side, place it just below. And not only am I holding my brush down, I mean, holding my brush at the end, I'm holding it down because that continues to blend for me. So when I do this, it's actually blending below here for me because it's still touching there. And with hooded eyes, if you notice when I'm blending, my eyes open. When I'm looking into the mirror to do my blending, my eye is open most of the time. I want to be able to see what it is I'm doing. Of course, when I get out here to the side, you got to close it for a second. But when I am going like this when i'm doing my back and forth 
my eyes are open because I want to be able to see that the makeup that I'm putting on is visible. Yes, Peter fans. Yes. Candace says, and holding the brushes correctly has been a game changer for me as well. I take notes when I watch you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Candace, you do a great job. Lace says, simply me too. It's something we don't usually think about. Yeah, definitely. I, I'm so glad that you guys, um, you know, that you guys like these tips and tricks and things that I give you. It That makes me feel really, really good. Like, I know that you know, that I said that to Candace when I went into her stream, um, how proud I was of her. But I, that really does make me proud to see you guys using tips that I've given to you. I just, that makes me feel really cool. I love when you guys hashtag makeup by Mandy B uh, on Twitter and tag me in things. It makes me feel great. I just think that's super, super cool. So thank you guys so much. Candace says, um, right, Lacey, I know. I grew up using the sponge applicators. Yeah. Uh, Kimberly, no, I cannot paint at all. This is my artistry. I am not, I can't draw, can't do any of that kind of stuff. Pamela says, I have hooded eyes too, and I have to do my eyeshadow with my eyes open looking straight ahead. Exactly, Pamela. I jot things down as I'm watching as well. That's so awesome, Pam. I appreciate, I appreciate all of you guys. This is just so amazing. Candace says, I also have hooded eyes. So I love watching a real-time makeup artist doing their makeup. It really helps. Good. I'm so glad. I I appreciate y'all so much. I really, really do. It makes my day when I get pictures from people saying, you know, I was in a really, really bad mood this morning. Or I was having a lot of anxiety today and I decided to go over... Decided to go over to my makeup and just sit and play. And then 30 minutes later feels completely good. Like that is amazing. That, that, that just makes me feel as good as I felt when I was a paramedic and I would save someone or would do something really good. It makes me feel that good that there's somewhere or there's somebody somewhere that's having a better day just because of something simple that I did that I could have any part in that makes me feel absolutely amazing. So thank you guys so much for sharing those things with me. Um, it, it means so much more to me than, than you could possibly know. Um, what did Jackie say? Everybody's agreeing with her. Jackie says, you're a good teacher and have a way with explaining stuff. Thank you. Candace says, I agree. Lace says, the live streams are my favorite. Real-time blending helps a lot. It does. Thank you. I'm so glad. Lace says, we love you, Mandy. I love you. I love you guys so, so much, truly. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch me. I know that there's so many other things that you guys could be watching and I always get so nervous to go live because it seems like every single time I want to go live, there's another drama channel or there's somebody else going live. And um, I always feel like, you know what, I'm not going to be able to compete for people watching. So I just, I don't do it. So those of you that are here, um, I really do appreciate it very much. Kimberly says, it's so much better watching you and interacting with us while you do it versus just watching regular tutorials. Thank you, Kimberly. Nani says, I love this. I'm having a better day because of your words earlier. No, oh, Nani, that makes me feel so good. Candace says, I totally have better days watching and then playing with makeup and using your tips in my makeup videos. It makes me want to do my makeup. That is awesome to think that I'm inspiring you to do more. That makes me feel incredible. Thank you. Pamela says, the positively, positivity in your streams helped my soul. Pamela, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Candace says, it is nice to have a positive place to go and watch and relate to. Yes, I agree with that, Candace. And I think that your streams are exactly like that as well. Absolutely. All right. So I'm going to go right back in. And again, I am still using the color, wasn't it butter? Yeah, I'm still using butter. So I'm going to blend it again with my eyes open. And then out on the side here. 
And then I just want to look and make sure that I like what I see. Okay, and I do. So that's what it looks like so far. If Yabba were here, she would tell us to shut up. She would, right? Baby Blue, hi, thank you for being you, Mandy. I want you to know that I truly have someone to look up to. I'm struggling really bad right now, but I keep mo moving forward right now and strive to have a heart like you. That is so amazing. I, Baby Blue, you know how I feel about you. I think that you are just absolutely incredible. I, I appreciate you very much. You inspire me. Um, Yes, Candace, I mean it. I, I mean it. Kimberly says, right, Lacey? I figured she'd pop up and tell us to stop kissing, but you know, that's what she'd say. That is, that's definitely what Yabba would say. But I appreciate it, and I don't take it as you guys kissing my butt, and um, it means a lot to me. It's nice to know that you're making a difference. That's That's a nice feeling. Lacey, I keep waiting for her to pop up. I don't know. I haven't um, talked to her today. I haven't talked to her since last night. So she might have had, but I mean, Yaba has like an actual life, you know, like with the job and all the kids and everything. So she stays pretty busy. Um, the next color that I'm going to use, what's this called? I think it's called Pukey. Is it? Yeah. The next color I'm going to use is called Pukey. Now this has a little bit of a undertone to it. Don says, I like that you read everyone's comments. It's really confusing watch a, watching a live stream when the person is answering questions, but you have no idea what the convo is about. You're doing great. Proud of you. Thank you, Dawn. And everybody, please say hi to Dawn. She's been in here before. Um, Dawn and I met at church, and um, her husband and my husband and I uh, used to have all kinds of movie nights and game nights and He's very competitive, um, but we would we would do all kinds of stuff together. And um, unfortunately, they did move to another church. But I hear that you guys are doing fantastic. And Don, can I um, can I talk about um, how would I say that uh, Tampa? What happened, what what we were doing in Tampa? So I'm going to use pukey real fast and I'm going to do that just even lower now I really want to put this right into the crease my actual crease and then out to the side doing the circular motions actually you know what Don I won't even say it if you just type in what happened if you feel comfortable then i'll just read what you said instead of me saying it that's what i'll do okay so i'm gonna go back into pukey i'm gonna tap it off thank you guys for saying hi to her and being kind i really appreciate it yes it's actually called pukey i mean it's jacqueline hill's palette and uh if you've ever watched her that is something that she has always said um that her favorite color is like baby puke ish kind of colors. So that's why she named this one specific color pukey because it does, it does look pretty similar to that. So same color. And I'm just putting that very, very, very close to my true crease. And then I'm going to do the circles on the outside. In the back. So for all three of these, I use the MAC uh, 217 blending brush. Right now, I'm going to actually just set it to the side because we are going to move on to a different um, brush now. Okay, so I'm going to be using my Wayne Goss brushes from here on out uh, and one more MAC brush, but these are not a necessity. You do not have to have these, but um, you can, like I said, you can find others that are the same. Um, sizes to use, but for me, the, because of how hooded my eyes are, the Wayne Gosh um, eye set was worth every single penny. I love them. Like I've said before, you can get these on beautylish.com. You can get them on three easy payments uh, to make it much simpler. There's no credit check and they don't charge you any interest or anything like that. 
Uh, I just highly suggest these, but there are definitely far, far, far um, more affordable brushes that you can get, um, real techniques, stuff like that. So, yes. Okay. So I'm going to take, this is the number 17 brush by Wayne Goss, but this is what it looks like. How, there we go. This is what it looks like. So it's just a smaller, tapered, fluffy brush, but it's going to allow me to really get on the outside corner here. <clears throat> and for that, I am going to go in with, I got to find the number. I mean, the name of it. Mocha. So I'm just going to take a tiny, 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 tiny bit of Mocha. Don said, of course. Um, Baby Blue said, oh my goodness, I needed to read your shirt today. Oh, yeah. It says, choose, choose gratitude. I love it. My husband got it for me uh, about a year ago. Okay, so I took just a tiny little bit of mocha, which is just a really deep um, brown. It says, choose gratitude, Noni. And I'm going to take it right out into my corner. And for this, I'm just going to like push it right there into that corner. And then I'm going to kind of just do like little tiny, little swirlies. Wouldn't really call them circles because I'm not really doing an actual circle. I'm just more or less, let me see. I'm just kind of going like this. And then once I do that, then I'm just going to take it because I don't really want to drag this in at all. I only want this right in that outer corner. Like that. Uh, Candace says, does $130 for the brushes sound right? Yes, it does. If so, about to order them off a of beauty list. Yes, it does. Um, that is the right amount, but they are worth every single penny. And like I said, you can get them in three easy to install payments. Um, again, I'm going to take it and I'm just going to tap it right on the outside here. And then just kind of barely swirl that around and I'm not taking it in any further. I really do just want this in the outer corner only. Yeah, you're Candace, you will love these brushes. I'm telling you, I know I I mean I I know what it's like to not just be on a budget, but <laughs> To not know how you're going to pay your bill. Like, I didn't always live like this. I mean, I grew up very, very well. But my first marriage was not great. So I definitely know what it feels like to struggle. So, you know, just because you see me using things that you think you can't afford. Um, what did I say? Candace said, if so, I'm about to order them off a beauty list. Don said, Mandy was going to donate her kidney to me, to me, which is amazing in itself. But it was very soon after we met many years ago. She and the good doctor <laughs> are amazing people. She is the exact same off camera, very full of good knowledge and lots of fun to hang with. We must hang out soon. I agree. And I am I am so happy Don did get her transplant. Um, unfortunately, I was not a match. Uh, that was that was a sad day, man. That was that was that was sad. Um, but she did get her kidney and she is no longer doing all those horrible things that she used to have to do. And I am so happy for you, Don. That absolutely made my day. And when I found out, I couldn't wait to tell Alex. And he was thrilled. And yes, we definitely need to get together soon with um, you and Paul. Uh, Baby Blue said, "It's easy to forget all we have to be have to be grateful for when your world shatters."
That's true. Lace says Wayne Goss brushes are the best, especially for her hooded eyes. Yes, they are. And Lace said, Dawn, that made me tear up so sweet. Baby Blue said, I am in tears, Dawn. That is very personal to me. Yeah. Kimberly said, oh, Mandy, you truly are an angel. Oh, no, I'm not. That's not true whatsoever. Um, Candace says, oh, my gosh, Mandy, you are a beautiful woman. God bless you, and I adore you even more after Dawn's story, if that makes it even possible. That just touched my heart and brought tears to my eyes. Okay, now, I think I'm the only one that hasn't cried on camera at this point, so y'all are going to make me cry. Uh, Kim says, are you doing okay now, Don? Nani says, that is amazing, Mandy. Laced with Lace. Lacey says, yay, Don. Lace says, hashtag Don. Don said, actually, I waited seven years for a match. Finally got a uh, transplant in December. Pra praise God. Thanks all. And lots of hash ha hashtag Dons. Yes. And Candace says, God is good all the time. That is a fact. Silver Fox um, what are the most essential brushes needed for eyeshadow, the size and shapes? Yeah, that's what I've been going over. Jackie says, wow, Mandy, you are amazing. And so are you, Don. Brought tears to my eyes. Mill said, hi. Hi, how are you, sweetie? Baby Blue said, I needed this story, Don. It gives me hope. Gabby said, very lovely. Miranda said, all so sweet. Jillian said, are my comments disappearing? This is the first one I've seen from you, Jillian. Fixin said that is wonderful for a new kitty. Yes, it is. I'm so so happy. That was a man. That was a tough call to get because we had to go to um, Tampa several times and really thought that that it was going to uh, work out. And when I got the call that I wasn't a match, that just absolutely stunk, man. Oh gosh, that was so hard. But praise God, she has her new kitty and she's doing well. And that just, that couldn't make me any happier. Jillian said, oh, that one stayed up. You look beautiful as always. Thank you. Um, so again, I'm just using my Mac 217. And this is just the original one that I used for all of my transition colors. And I'm just going back over one time here just to blend out that brown that I just placed. Maya mom says, Don, all the best to you. Yes, it's your girl, Rebecca. Aw. Yes, I'm so glad you guys are showing Don so much love. That makes me feel great. Okay. And now I want to take my uh, MAC 217. I have several of these. They are just the flat synthetic brushes. Uh, and these are the ones that I use for any kind of shimmer or anything like that. So today I'm actually just going to use, uh, mm, actually, I think I'm just going to use in light. So it's the first one in the palette. Where's my Mac fix plus. Was that something that dropped? Of course it was. All right. Well, let's see what it looks like without anything here. And I'm just going to take it. Oh, yeah, this is fine. Holy cow. Look, that's dry, y'all. This is in light, the first color from the Jaclyn Hill. I'm actually going to go over to this eye real quick because, wow, that was a lot of pigment. I didn't expect it to be that pigmented. Evermore, have you ever tried anything from Thrive Cosmetics? I've heard good things about their products, and whenever you buy from them, they do a product to a woman with cancer. I love that idea. I love that idea as well, and no, I have not, actually. I have not tried anything by them. All right, just going to do the same thing to the other eye now. And as you see, I'm just, I'm really keeping this one low. And... That's what we have. And now I'm just going to go back in with that brush that I put mocha on. Don says, Baby Blue, if you ever want to talk about something, I'm here anytime. Baby Blue, 
<coughs> Don would be the perfect person for you to talk to actually. Um, and mom of three boys, if there is a way I'm going to try and get a hold of her as well and see if she can, because, um, she is going through something very, very similar. She has lupus though, but, um, you guys, Dawn is an amazing contact and an amazing woman of God and a complete inspiration. Um, I, I promise you, um, the only thing that's wrong with her is that, She's a Buckeyes fan. I can't. That, that's that's it, though. Nothing else. Everything else is great. All right. So I'm just going to quickly take this my brush back that I put the mocha on. And I'm just going to deepen that up. And just one drop in, or I'm sorry, one little bounce in is going to be enough to do both eyes because the color is already there. I just wanted to kind of blend it in with that and white color that I used. So like that. Thank you, Dawn. Yes, baby blue. I, I know that you do as well. You guys, yes. I love seeing you guys all talking about praying for each other. That means so much to me. I absolutely love it. That is so fantastic. Okay, so for eyes, for the top part, we're good on that. Now, what I want to show you is I have, where is my eyeliner that I... I'm going to be using, um, where's it at? There it is. I'm going to be using on my bottom the Costa Riche. That This is for sure my favorite brown. I just think it is such a pretty color and it's not too overwhelming. Not too harsh. So I'm going to put that there and also in my waterline. Let's see here. Simply said, or Miranda says prayers. Thank you so much. Lisa says God is amazing and he is the greatest physician. That's a fact. Yes. Amen. Um, Candace says, baby blue, I lost my mama in October from cancer, but she also had MS and lupus for 10 years. I am praying for you as well, hon. I'm so sorry for your loss, Candace. You've had, man, like I, this is going to be a good year though, girl. I'm telling you, I just, I know it. This is going to be your year. Lace says, and when I say I will pray for you, I will. Those aren't just words. Lace. I said that in my last video, and that is a fact. Absolutely. If I say it, and you if you ask me and I tell you that I'm going to pray for you, know that at night when Alex and I say our prayers together, we will be praying for you. It's not just we're like, oh, yeah, I'll pray for you. Katie says she needs nine more subs for 1K. Are you serious, Katie? I only need nine more to get to 1,000. Wow. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is so incredible. That is so hard to believe. I can't believe it. Thank you guys so much. Wow. Yes, it is. Candace says, yes, it is. I got approved for my house and moving in this weekend. Prayer for is powerful. Absolutely. Yes, it is. Amen. Laced hashtag Mandy. Katie, thank you so much. How awesome is that you guys? Almost to a thousand. That was actually pretty quick. I haven't been doing this. What is like my, my sixth video or something? So Evermore, thank you. I appreciate the sub. Thank you so much. Lace said, where'd you come from, Katie Lurker? Katie's doing all kinds of stuff. Like she had a super busy day, but I know she um, had it running and is listening. And God love her. She, um, uh, Jessica said, wow, you grew so fast. I know. Isn't that incredible? All thanks to you guys. I really appreciate it. Don said, sorry to tell you, Mandy. You're a Buckeye by birth and a traitor too. No, yes, I I, I was born in Cincinnati, but um, I'm okay with the Bearcats, but no go on those Buckeyes. Uh-uh, no part of that. I'm a gator. Okay, now I'm going to take, let me show you this flat brush here. I don't know what I did with my, 
Um, I'm going to take the Morphe 432 or M432, and it is a flat brush just like this. Yeah, Katie, um, definitely, I know she's been playing it, and she's so sweet. She puts my playlist on and will um, just let my playlist run so that I can get my um, 4,000 hours, which is unbelievable, um, of time. So I, I appreciate that. Katie is a very, very good friend, y'all. Um, I am going to use Mocha again, and I'm going to take that. And I'm going to push it right up to my lash line. Just like that. Do the same thing on the other eye. Oh, Lisa said, how are you doing, Katie? Are you okay? Katie said, I'm fine. Candace says, I am adding you to my playlist now. I am trying to help others as well. Thank you so much. Baby Blue, thank you, everyone. Yeah, please get a hold of Dawn. Honestly, she will absolutely, she, she is so great. I cannot tell you how amazing she really is. You will absolutely love her. Vixen says, I sit and pause it, go do looks, just like Jaclyn Hill's videos. I love you, Vixen. You are so awesome. Hold on, y'all. I have to grab my Fix Plus that I dropped on the floor. Dang it. Because all of my stuff, um, all of my things have the little velcros on the back because when i use them in my kit i have little velcro things that they just stick on so and this carpet is hilarious so everything sticks to it and i'm like going around like taking everything up off the carpet because it's all velcroed to the carpet <clears throat> lacy you're a ride or die i see you girl that's for sure candace hope you are having a better day today katie lots of hugs yes she is we all know Katie's a tough cookie, but man, how much, you know, everybody has to have a break sometime. So I'm using the, um, that's not right. I'm not using the same brush. What am I thinking? I am going to grab, where are you at? And at the end, I'm going to show you all the brushes that I think are um, essential. I'll have them all sitting out, and I will show you exactly which ones. What the heck? Where's my angled? There we go. This is definitely another brush that I would consider um, an essential. This is actually by BH Cosmetics. But again, you can get this absolutely anywhere. He said, y'all, I'm embarrassed by that. Let's forget that it even happened. You got it. Okay, so I'm going to take this angled brush, and I'm going to dip it back into, I was going to use Mocha, but I think I'm actually going to use Central Perk. It's a little bit darker, so I'm actually going to use Central Perk. Metallic T says, was it Shark Week, Katie? Ha, a glad that you're feeling better now. Vixen, Jennifer, go to your make local makeup store. Lace said five more. What? F five more subscribers? No. That can't be. What did Jennifer ask? Somebody, it was a good question. What did Jennifer ask? Mandy, where can I find a friend like you? You're a sweetheart. Oh, Jennifer, that is so sweet. Yes, Gabby, Central Perk was the coffee shop from Friends. That's right. Five more to 1K. Oh, my gosh, you guys. 
Well, remember, when I get to 1K, I'll be doing the giveaway. So it looks like I'll be doing that when I get home. You guys, this is so awesome. Thank you so much. Wow, you guys are incredible. Katie, thank you. Vixen, thank you. I know you are constantly retweeting everything. I just thank you guys so much. Um, Maya mom, sub to who? They, they, me, they said I'm only five away from a thousand. Sarah, hi, I'm back freezing out there. I know, right? Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm taking Central Perk and I'm taking it on my angled eyeliner brush. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to press that right here along my lash line. And I like to keep it very, very close to my lash line because my eyes are so hooded that if I were to take it up more, then you're not even going to get to see what I already did. I know, Laced, I am doing the happy dance too. I'm like, I don't know. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. That's just, that's so incredible. I can't thank you guys enough. Like six or seven videos and almost to a thousand. That's that's just incredible. I'm so grateful to all of you. Dixon said, I want to tweet a thing about sharks, but I'm having to wait to see it. Yes, wait. Thanks, Rachel. Jillian, oh, well done. That's awesome. We need that five now, though. Going to sub you on my husband's and daughter's accounts. Jillian, thank you. You guys are so awesome. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching my long videos and going back and re-watching them. And, I mean, even when you go back and watch certain parts, like, that all helps so much for my hours. I just, I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you so, so, so much. Katie, thank you for all the shout outs. I appreciate it. Thank you guys. What? No. You're kidding me. My phone is blowing up. Oh my gosh, you guys. Thank you so much. I see all of you guys congratulating me. I can't cry. <laughs> Katie, yep, 1,000 just checked. You guys, thank you so much. Cherry, Cherry, Candace, Katie, Vixen, I can't thank you guys enough. Laced, thank you so much. I'm not going to mess my makeup up, no. Sarah's like, congratulations, sweetie, you did it. Vixen, it's been a long walk, girl. Congratulations, Manny. Stephanie and Cole, congratulations. Tanya, congrats. Robin, congratulations. Evermore. Laced live reaction. Yes, you guys. Oh, my gosh. I'm, I am so grateful. Thank you so much. I am so incredible. My phone is blowing up. Sherry, Sherry, no one deserves it more. Oh, I'm, there's lots and lots of people that deserve it more than I do, but I am definitely just going to say thank you. <laughs> I know there's others that de deserve it more, but man, I am so grateful, y'all. How how appropriate that my shirt says choose gratitude today. Like, that's so cool. Where's Yabba at? Katie, call Yabba because I'm, I'm fixing to cry. She's going to see it. I'll actually earn it. Yes, thank you, Don. Oh my gosh, Rachel, I changed it to a thumbs up. Thank you. You guys, thank you so much. Chloe, all of you, thank you. Laura, you guys, Rosie Leon, Michelle Porter, hi, just getting off work. Oh, I just hit a, I just hit a thousand, Michelle. Lace, <laughs> give me that dang giveaway. You got it, you guys. When I get home, it will. Don, yes, I'm at a thousand now. I can't believe it. Seriously, you guys, thank you so much. Y'all add our video to your playlist and keep them on automatic play so it will build up for watch time. Thank you, Michelle Party. Yes, I will be giving away the 1,000 um, subscriber getaway as soon as I get home, you guys. Michelle, I'm so happy, baby. I'm so happy, too. Jillian, don't cry. You'll ruin your makeup. 
Way to go, Mandy. Just walked into this. How awesome. Oh, thank you, Fisher Girl. Katie, leave it on. Thank you. Country Girl, congratulations. You're so amazing. Deserve this and so much more. You guys, thank you so, so much. Truly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. I know it's I know it's a thousand and there are people that have such bigger channels, but I am just like, thank you, Vixen. <laughs> Lace. Um, I just, I didn't, um, yeah, I just, I didn't really expect it to happen this quickly, uh, or at all. So thank you guys so much. Truly. I appreciate it. Okay. Let's, um, let's get on with this makeup look. Cause I am definitely going to cry. You people are legit amazing. And I am so grateful for each and every one of you. I really mean that. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's hope so, Lace. <laughs> it can always go the other direction, right? <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. I have yours on my playlist, and I play yours as well, too, just so you know. Um, okay, so I, I got to finish this up. So um, I did the eyeliner with the shadow. Stephanie Nicole, you're a sweetheart girl. Katie says, cry, baby. Oh, I don't care. Go ahead. I, I'm too happy. Where's Yab at? You should have got her in here. She could have actually seen it. I absolutely just screwed it up. I, I thought I was going to be the only one that hadn't cried on camera. And um, screwed that up, didn't I? Y'all remember when Katie was um, teasing me and made that little chicken video about when I would finally get around to making my first YouTube video? That was pretty funny. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Ash P. Jackie, up, 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 and then a million. Oh, that would be nice, wouldn't it? My husband always says he wants to be a kept man. Rosie Leon, I always play Katie's videos over and over again. Teaches me how to be a butthole. That's so funny. Tanya, I subbed you at Stephanie Nicole. Yeah, definitely, you guys. Maya, oh, I'm so glad you reached 1K. I was about to bring a few trolls. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. Kimberly, congratulations, Mandy. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Um, I'm going to finish this look up. So I'm going to highlight the inner corner of my eye. And I can't stop thinking about it. Like, legit. I'm just now, I'm just thinking about that. So I need to, um, I need to, I need to get over myself. Okay. So I'm going to highlight the inner corner and I am just using, uh, when I highlight, I actually like to highlight with whatever color highlighter I'm using on my cheek because I really feel like it brings it together more. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm putting bubbly to highlight the inner corner. 1,003 going up, Lace says. That's amazing. You guys, I'm so glad that you were here. Like when it happened, I I'm just I don't know. This is just this is seriously surreal. I know it's I know it's just a thousand, and people will be like, okay, it's just a thousand. But to me, that's I don't know. It to me, it could be a million, and it, it I don't know that it'll feel like this. Oh, sorry, you guys. I'm just so grateful. Thank you guys so much. Katie says, wait until you hit 10K and you'll have that moment. Yeah, I'm I'm sure. I I'm absolutely sure. Jillian, I agree. Shh. She does not know her worth to us. Gabby, happy tears. Yes, Gabby. Sandra. Sorry, it's flying, y'all. You're so humble and generous. 
You deserve it most definitely. I will always support you. Thank you so much, Cassandra. I It means a lot to me. I love you too, Chloe. Candace, a thousand is a big accomplishment, hun. Hugs, thank you. It is to me. This means a lot. Now can you show us how to fix a teary eye? <laughs> Frenchie says, congrats, good luck on your new adventure and goals. May this be the beginning of, of creative and fresh space. Yes, amen. I always want it to stay that way. Rosie Leon, you are adorable when you cry. I honestly don't, I don't cry a lot. I'm not a, I'm not a big crier. Um, and I don't know that I would have if I hadn't actually been on when it happened. But I mean, honestly, seeing how excited you guys were for me. Um, Yeah, that's the part that really gets me, is seeing how excited you guys are for me. That means everything to me. You guys are awesome. I know I say I have the best subscribers, but I do. Oh, and I'm very, very grateful. Katie says, then one million, you can quit your job. <laughs> uh, Robin says, Mandy, you are so sweet. Alice says, love, happy tears, baby blue. Stephanie, Mandy, Katie says Mandy will blow up in this next year. You all watch. Katie, you got to stop now. You're trying. Now you're actually trying to make me cry. You guys, Katie is so encouraging to me every single day. Every single day she calls me and encourages me. Jessica, how does it feel to know that 1,000 people are watching you? I hadn't thought about it that way, actually. That feels a little bit frightening. But that a thousand people care enough to be subscribed to me. Um, that feels really incredible hearing that you guys enjoy what I'm saying and that I inspire you and that I uplift you. That feels amazing. Lace said, now I'm crying and I look like Kim K when I cry. <laughs> oh, that is great. You guys, I can't even keep up with them. You guys, these comments are so amazing. Thank you. I love you too, Tanya, Jillian. I love your beautiful heart. Thank you, Vixen. And Jeffrey will be shouting her out. Oh, I'm sure. Um, Katie is a sweetheart, yes. Katie seems like a great friend. That's why I love her <laughs> so much. Lace, she is a great friend. Kim says, I promoted you so much. I know people were getting tired of me. Kim, thank you. And Katie, you're not mean. Baby Blue, no, you're not. See, no, you're not, Katie. All right. Congra Penny Cross says, congratulations, Mandy. Well done. Thank you so much, you guys. Again, truly, thank you all very, very much. It really means a lot to me. Thank you. Okay. Oh, let the parodies begin that I had a breakdown over 1,000 subscribers, right, y'all? Okay. Mandy gonna ditch, ditch us for Vixen. I will never ditch you. Vixen, no. Y'all stop it. You know I would never ditch you. No way. Mm -mm. You guys are everything. I love it too. This was really cool. I'm just so glad that it happened when I was online with you guys. That was, that's pretty cool. And you know, um, Elisa, 1000, congrats, Mandy. I had to stop in and tell you I'm so excited for you. Thank you so much. I'm so excited, too. You just missed my little uh, breakdown. But I just, I want to thank you guys because I know that you're here for the makeup. And I know that all of you, most of you know um, how this whole thing started. And I, I didn't do it through drama. I didn't get to a thousand people by even once doing drama. Um, and I'm proud of that. And I'm proud of you guys. I'm proud of you guys for being here and wanting to be a part of something that doesn't have to do with hurting anyone else or us being hurt, but instead being happy and uplifting each other and it being safe and encouraging. And I'm, I'm just really proud of each one of you guys, too. So thank you guys so much. 
thank you, Stephanie Nicole. I think that we are all here for your kind soul too, not just the makeup. Stephanie, don't cry or I will. I already did. Stephanie, when it first happened, I already cried. Baby Blue, we aren't just here for the makeup, Mandy. We are here because you are general, general, real, and kind. Thank you so much. Sandy La, thank you. I'm so excited, right? Nani, women need a place like this. Absolutely. Everybody does. Men, boys, girls, everyone needs a place like this. Kata says, you call me, and while I watch you, I do my crafting, and then I play in makeup. You are very sincere, and I can relax here. I'm so glad that you guys feel that way. I'm so glad that you guys feel that way. Stephanie, aw, you, you so deserve it. You have the kindest soul. Well, I don't have the kindest, but, um, you know, I all, of course, I'm always going to have room for improvement, and I hope you guys will always hold me accountable to that, for sure. Always, always hold me accountable. Sarah, um, we are because we love you, and we love your kind, honest heart, and we love makeup. Yes, absolutely. We love makeup, and that's okay. Katie said you all hit our like button. That's so funny. I think I had six thumbs down before I even started. I don't know how that happened. Okay, guys, let's wrap this up. Um, <coughs> I am going to... Okay. I actually do need to fix something because Sissy Britches did cry away a little bit of her makeup here. So I'm just going to go back in real fast to the outer edge. <laughs> Forget the makeup. It's party time now. I feel, I know I'm, I'm definitely going to be, I'm going, and it's funny. My husband and I are actually going to cry babies tonight. <laughs> that is the name of the restaurant. I promise. I'm not making that up. Like, and I cannot wait to tell him. He's he's gonna be so happy for me too. Oh man. He was going off yesterday about MFW and saying tell her that's illegal to go to the pop cops. Who? Your hubby is gonna come in. Who made you cry? Best vacation ever. Yeah, this one tops it for sure. Yes, absolutely, Candace. That's right. We're having a party. Um, Cassie said, Vixen saying, my wife doesn't watch anything on YouTube. She knows the voices of Mandy and Katie. <laughs> Katie and my husband talk all the time. Like, they banter, and then they team up together and, like, go after me. Mr. Boot says, headbutt that like button. Thank you, Mr. Boot. Vixen, my husband, I know, right? Mine too. Okay, so I want to fix where I just um, did my little crybaby and cried this outside off. So I'm just going to quickly touch that up. Man, you guys, thank you so much. I really, and I am just so proud of all of you guys. I am just so proud of all you guys. Makes me feel really, really good. See, YouTube isn't all bad, y'all. Tanya says, I get thumbs down, too, on my channel. Cassie, yeah, we all do, whatever. Right? It doesn't matter. Okay. So, because I did cry a little bit, I'm going to go back into that um, in light color. And I'm just going to touch up just the inner corner here where I just cried that off on both sides. My daughter thinks you are Elsa from Frozen. I have to agree. Jillian, that's so sweet. Katie says, you have to hurry up and go check on him. He's fine. You know what he's doing. I already told you. He's going to be melted in a chair. No, he's in the hot tub. That's what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, Katie, that's right. That's exactly what he's doing. <laughs> I've never seen Frozen. So now that I've been compared, I guess I'm going to have to watch it. Sandy La, thank you, Katie, for sharing this gem with us. Mandy is a beautiful person. All right, all right, y'all. This is this is all because of you guys, not me. I'm just I'm so grateful to you guys. Katie, thank you for encouraging me. Vixen, thank you for encouraging me. Thank you all, Sandy La. 
all you guys. Thank you. I made my day too. Candace, when I first came back after all the losses, I watched you hunt and you were so inspiring. I got back into the channel with makeup and I am more and more inspired each time I watch you. Thank you, Candace. Thank you. Isn't that what we all want to do? Isn't that what makes everything right? Thank you, Wendy, so much. Thank you for being excited for me. You may be able to change the world, but you truly changed mine. You'll never know what that has done for me. Thank you, baby blue. Y'all, I'm about ready to just throw in the towel and uh, scratch this whole makeup look and just start crying because I am fighting this hard. <laughs> Guarantee you tonight when I do the question and answer and this comes up, I'm going to be crying like a baby. 100%. Candace said, I was super excited when Katie announced that you were doing a video. I know. Lacey, Lace says, blowing my nose. Hold on. Wendy says, I don't even do makeup, and I watch you anyway. So weird, but I love it anyway. Thank you, Wendy. I appreciate that. All right. Let's finish this up, ladies. Okay, so here we are. Everything is blended. I'm really happy with the way that it's blended. Lace says, just fall on the floor. Let's have a cry stream. I know I don't have a kitchen floor. Everybody says that I look like Trisha Pay Payton. So I thought that I would do a parody on my kitchen floor. One of these days of like Trisha, I'll put my extensions in and do something like that. I thought that would be kind of funny. Not mean, of course. I wouldn't be mean, but you know what I'm saying. Um, don't you dare throw in the towel, girl. You all inspire us and make us smile and feel worthwhile every day. Miss Bethy, no, I didn't mean throw in the towel. I meant on this makeup look and just sit here and cry with all of you guys because I'm at a thousand. Yes, Mandy, thanks. Rachel. Wait, where did Rachel's go? Yes, Mandy, thanks to you, I own more makeup and brushes than I ever have. I've even organized it. Rachel, I want to see a picture of that. That makes me so happy. Michelle, I will have to text Taylor and tell her Laugh out loud. She will be so happy for you. Thank you. Yes, do a parody is always fun. I've never done one before, but I just thought because everybody always says that. Sarah says, see, many people do care. Right? Or Vixen says, yes, I know. Sarah says, no, you don't. You're way more beautiful. Oh, I think she's really pretty. Cherry Cherry, you are my light in a dark room. You will never know how you have helped me. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot. <sighs> Miss Bethy, I have not seen it yet. What? A few I just got here, and I'm shook after seeing Jeffree Star's new collection video. Yeah, I'm going to watch that afterwards. I just saw that. Alexandria Street. I normally just lurk, but I will be doing a makeup by Mandy Friday night watch marathon to help with the hours. Congratulations on a 1,000. Thank you, Alexandria Street. Thank you so much. Lace with Lacey. I know a beautiful soul when I see one. Thank you so much. And Mandy, you were one. Thank you so much. Jackie, you've made my night. Have not been too well. And this stream tonight has been wonderful. You are an inspiration, Mandy. Miss Bethy said, Mandy, you are going to love it all. I will. You guys, thank you. You're the inspiration to me, honestly. It's just so nice to see so many happy people. Penny Cross says, I don't watch for the makeup either. But you are cute, cute, cute. Thank you. I appreciate it. Stephanie, Nicole, all of you guys. Yeah, definitely sub to each other and, and take the time to watch. You know, like if I am sub to you, I watch your stuff. Um, I don't just sub and then not watch. If I'm sub to you, I'm watching your things. I don't always comment and I'm pretty sure that you guys will know why. <coughs> um, I don't always comment, but I watch and I give the thumbs up. So just thank you guys all so much. All right. Let's finish this up, right, ladies? Otherwise, it's going to end up being nighttime, and what would be the purpose of even doing um, 
a question and an answer tonight if I'm still on here until tonight. So I'm going to curl my eyelashes really fast. I swear this was going to be a short, this was going to be a short video. It didn't turn out that way, huh? Congra Karen Peters says, congratulations, beautiful lady. You've cheered me up at a diff difficult time. Stay beautiful. Thank you, Karen, so much. I haven't uploaded in a while because the negativity scared me off. Stephanie, don't let it. Don't let it. You know I was in the heart of all of it. And I'm sure it's going to happen again, you guys. I'm sure it's going to happen again. Um, just remember, behind hate is always jealousy. Always. No matter what. Across the board. It doesn't matter. It's always hate. And the only way that you can win is by love. Just don't don't let anything or anyone keep you from doing something that you love. Period. Yeah, Vixen, she taught me that about the fake jewelry with the clear nail polish. That is a great hack. Cassandra said, "Mandy, where did you get your eyelash curler at?" Um, I got it from Tarte, and I think it was last Christmas. It was their um little kit. So it's like every Christmas that um these will come out, you'll be able to see them. Okay, so I'm just going to curl them because I'm not putting on um, fake lashes since we're going to dinner. I'm not, I mean, just at a little local place. And then since this is like an everyday makeup look, I mean, every, I definitely do not wear false lashes every day. Stephanie says, at Lacey, will I sub to you, girl? So when you decide to upload, I will be there. Yes, me too. Sim, um, Candace said, my mom always said, kill them with kindness. So I love, yes, absolutely. I love Mandy. Mandy, you inspire us in so many ways. Thank you. You're so beautiful inside and out. I absolutely cannot wait until you started your makeup channel. I have learned so much from you. Thank you, country girl. Thank you all so much. It does work, Katie. Absolutely. You come up with some good... You guys, I know you all watch Katie already. But I'm telling you, she has some amazing content coming out. Like, this is this is going to be a huge, huge year for her. She's making a lot of changes and doing different things. And I'm telling you, talk about leaving us for others. I don't think Katie's going to have a choice. Because I really believe this is going to be the year. Um, I think it's going to be a great year for all of us. Mandy rocks. Oh, thank you, Lace. No, Miss Bethy, I can't wait to watch this from the start. So pleased to see you finally hit 1K and proud to be a part of it. Oh, I still can't believe it, y'all. Like, every time somebody says it, I'm about to cry. Vixen says, my husband love, love, loves them. Roll up thingies. You in Detroit, mate. I know. Katie, I know you know your, your roots. Absolutely. Lace, don't forget us when y'all make it big. Ha ha. No, absolutely not, you guys. Stephanie, this group in here full of some incredibly sweet people. You are all loved. That is a fact. I have the best people in here. Katie said, regardless of how much I grow, I'll still be in here bitching at y'all. That we all know. I'm sure everybody in here could agree to that. Rachel said, all right, Mandy, just tagged you on Twitter. to my Oh, I can't wait to see it. Thank you. Michelle said, Vixen, I have made those roll up 30 times already. Yes. Yes, Candace. We've all loved Katie. Yep. She is amazing. I'm I'm very, very lucky that I have both she and Vixen and even Yabba. Yabba's been um Yabba's been a big help to me too. She really, really has. <laughs> you guys are great. All right, let me grab my mascara. I am going to be using the Lights Camera Flashes. No, Katie has some really, really great things coming up, you guys. I can't, I can't wait for you guys to see all of it. And there's lots of fun, exciting things happening. And I think it is, like, pretty awesome of you guys because I see a lot of you in here. Uh, well, no, all of you in here that aren't in other chats back, like, you know, saying nasty things to anybody, anybody. It's because you don't like someone. You don't have to go in there and say nasty things. 
Um, Lace says, where's Yabs? I don't know. Katie. Oh, my goodness. Um, Kimberly says, we all need Katie to keep us in line. Yes. Katie, I'm not reading that out loud. Miss Bethy, miss uh, so much on Drama Live for us few days. Seriously, love you guys so much. She won't abandon us. Can't wait. I'd watch Katie fold clothes. That's a fact. Katie said filming. Oh, she, Yabba's filming? Um, oh, no, I never mind. I understand what you mean now. Michelle says, congratulations, Mandy. I'm so happy for you. I wish I could stay, but I have to help the boys with school. No, definitely. Go ahead and thank you so much for stopping in. I appreciate it. Katie, I swear, I thought you meant she was, like, filming a video. She's old Pete. She is not filming for 600-pound life. It's not nice. You guys are cracking me up. I, I love y'all. Okay, so I've got one coat of my um, of the mascara on my top lashes, and then I'm going to let it dry, and then I'll do a second coat, and I'll wait until that dries to do my bottom lashes because this this lash stuff, like, look at look at my lashes from that little lash, and I mean I had I had pathetic lashes so this is just one coat i'm gonna let it dry though otherwise it's gonna transfer laced i should oh i i'm you know what i'm not gonna read that out though because you know what you know how somebody's gonna take that but that's funny that so her dad's getting her yes but just know that um know that i'm not ignoring you by not reading that out i'm i just know how how that'll be taken. That's all we need. More Barbie doll videos, right? Not enough of those to go around. Yeah, the lashes, it's it's crazy. Um they're pretty long. It's it's crazy. <coughs> I gotcha says Lacey. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips really fast. Well, well I don't know why I keep saying really fast. There's been nothing about this video. Or any of my videos, it's been any fast. It's been fast. It it's the Tarte lights camera flashes, Cassandra. Okay, I'm going to use the Lolita lip liner. And I will say that um, I bought this because. Yes, tell us about the last stuff, lash stuff again. Yeah, it's called Lil Lash, and it's L-I-L-A-S-H, okay? And you can only get it on eBay because it is over. Well, all, all of you that are in the UK, you can get it over there. But we can only get it. Um, yes, Miss Bethy, yes, yes, yes. Um, we can only get it on um, eBay. And when you go to eBay and you type in L-I-L-A-S-H, make sure that you find the eBay page that says authentic because there's only one, um, there's only one dealer that's authorized to sell the real stuff. And you know, otherwise you'll get something fake, um, but it's out of New York City and you'll know that you have the right one. What's the best pencil sharpener to get? Because the one that I got is rubbish. I... I don't, I've never really, um, I mean, I don't think mine's anything special to be honest. I don't have it here. I forgot it at home, but I think it's just one that I got at, um, no, it's not. I'm sorry. It's Urban Decay. I know that it's Urban Decay because I was sent it with, um, some other stuff that I got from them. So it's actually Urban Decay. Candace, yes. My lashes got super duper thin too. And I just, I cannot believe how, um, I, I can't believe how much it makes a difference. They're great. Thank you, Amanda Love. I appreciate it. You missed the uh, little crying breakdown. Okay, so I'm going to finish uh, lining my lips, and I'm going to fill it in. And like I said, this is not um, my favorite kind of lip liner to use because it's super creamy. 
and I don't, I really like a drier formula. This one is really, really creamy. The reason I got it is because it is the, the original color of the original Lolita. So that's why I got it. Javin Givenchy has a great sharpener, but I got mine in gratis, so I didn't pay for it. Sephora's are great, too, and only $6. Yes. Can someone spell that here in the chat so that I can screenshot it? Yes, Miss Bethy just did it. Thank you, Miss Bethy. Hi, Amber. I'm excited for the giveaway, too. Yay. Honestly, because it's like, I feel like, I don't know, there's got to be more than one winner. I can tell you that already. I've already changed my mind. I know I said one at a thousand, two at two thousand, but now I'm going to do more than one because this was, this was incredible. Absolutely incredible. Arby, you actually look disgusting. Thank you so much. What a nice thing to say. Thank you for coming in and giving me the view just to say something like that. Thank you. Yes, I'm having a giveaway when I get back, Amanda. When I hit um, 1,000, I said I was going to do a giveaway. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Oh, don't worry about it, you guys. Hi, Christy. There's always got to be one, right? You know that... Um, <coughs> I'm writing things down. Hi, why not? Um, you know that there's going to be one. I mean, you know that the word got out. Um, you know that we were in here and that we were happy and having a good time and that I, you know, hit the thousand, which for me is huge. You need my PayPal. <laughs> yeah, right. Is there more than one? Is there more, more than one troll that came in or was it just that one? Makes me mad. Eh, whatever, right? It's not our people. Why not? That is hilarious. Why not said now I want Arby's? That is awesome. See y'all, that's how you handle these hateful people. Vixen, that's the other way you handle it. <laughs> You guys, successful people. Successful people never, ever bring other people down. Ever. You will never find a successful person that is dragging someone else down. And women that... Um, women that bring other women down, there's, that's, that's just so wrong. We should be lifting each other up. We should be proud of each other. We should be encouraging each other and helping each other out. That's, that's what we should be doing. And that's what we'll do in here. Um, there's obviously going to be like, there's going to be trolls y'all. Come on. We know, we know what the history is here, right? So who cares? Okay. So I, um, filled my lips. I outlined them and then filled them in with Lolita. D. What sounds boring, Katie? Where's Ponderosa? <laughs> and then I'm gonna take low. I'm gonna take um Kat Von D's. I think it's Lud Yeah, Ludwig. That's the one reason I've always adored you, Miss Bethy. What, sweetie? Um, and I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna put it right in the center. And just kind of tap it out. Ponderosa is here. What does that mean? Hashtag love. What? What did I miss, you guys? Somebody tell me what I missed. Encouraging, uplifting, and spreading your pure love, Mandy. Thank you, Miss Bethy.
gut kick. Eh, doesn't matter. It doesn't take away um, how exciting that just was to happen with all of you guys in here. It's not going to take away from my moment. You can guarantee that I won't even give that person another thought when I'm watching this video back. I'm not going to be thinking, oh, that one Arby's person came in. Like they will be completely forgotten because I'm not, I don't remember the bad things. I remember the good things. I remember how overwhelming all these comments are. I wish I could have screenshotted every single one of these comments um, so that I could, you know, frame it and have that for the future. How cool would that be to have um, your guys' comments and you guys congratulating me? I don't know. That just like, that was just so amazing, you guys. I'm, I'm so grateful. Okay, so I'm going to finish up the mascara. What did I do with it? Oh, here we go. I got it. Katie, love your humorous ways, says Candace. That's right. Yabba will be forgotten. Katie. <laughs> Hi, KB Ma. How are you? I don't get the Arby thing, but I do like the giant sandwich. I love che I love cheese sticks. Yes. Do you ever notice how every single live stream we always end up talking about food? Like always, we, we always end up talking about food. Last night I was, it took everything that I had not to call room service and have them bring up chocolate cake because y'all were talking about chocolate cake in um, Katie's stream last night. And I am not joking. Like that was what I wanted. I wanted chocolate cake with some milk. It, I, that's all I wanted so bad. And everybody kept talking about it. I'm like, oh my gosh. Yes, food is good, Vixen. Yes. Okay, I'm going to do my bottom lashes. And <coughs> I'm going to use this tiny little guy that I have. Cheese is addictive, I swear. Jillian, absolutely it is. Vixen, I was so, like, for some reason in my mind, I had it that you were, like, vegan. And I was completely freaking out, like, wondering what in the world I was going to do. Oh, well, anyway. Yeah, so anyhow, I thought that you were, um, I thought you were vegan. And I was like, oh, my gosh. But now I know you're not. So that's, I mean, not that being vegan is bad. You know what I mean without me saying it, right? Hey, Yabba, I was crying. You can rewatch it. I did. I cried. No actual tears fell down, but yes, I did cry. Yabba's here. <laughs> I was asking for you, Yabba. I tried to hold out. You're going to have to go back and look. I tried to hold out. Yeah, but I swear I did. I was like, somebody call Yabba. Somebody tell Yabba right now because it's it's getting ready to happen. It, uh. Katie says, Yabba, all negativity will be forgotten. I had some errands to run. I said that. I said that you were, I know that you had a busy day today. But Katie just blindsided me when she said that I hit a thousand. I was just like, it didn't, I just couldn't believe it. And then what everybody was saying was really, really, really sweet. It was pretty cool. And then somebody even said, yeah, but we'd be telling us to shut up and making fun of us. Of course, she was at Walmart, Vixen. Walmart and then ran through McDonald's. 
Thank you, Yabba. It is pretty awesome. A thousand. I'm I'm pretty excited. It was just really cool that everybody was on here when it happened, and Katie just bust in and said it. So would you stop with the she's been on set, Katie? But it was just really cool the way Katie came in and said that it happened, and we were all just like, all of us were like shocked, and I don't know. It was just really cool. Made my day. But I did ask for you. I, I truly did ask for you and say somebody needs to go get Yabba because it's, it's getting ready to happen. <laughs> okay, let me just do a little bit of touch up here now that I'm all... Finished, and I want to put a little bit of lip gloss on. Oh, my gosh. Yabba says that's so cool. Just the beginning. Wow, you guys. Yabba's being nice to me. Like, really nice. That's a really sweet thing to say. Am I like dying or something? Did my husband call and tell Katie and then Katie told you or something that I'm dying? That's why you're being nice to me. Katie is getting wheeled to the junkyard for a weigh in. Holy cow. You guys are so funny. Someone hacked you up because she's being nice, Katie. That is hilarious. Okay, you guys. Well, that shouldn't have taken four hours, but um, it did. So here is the finished look. Someone check and make sure it's really her. Penny Cross says, Mandy, you have such pretty eyes. Thank you so much. Thank you, Miss Fixin. Oh, <clears throat> real quick, I'll show you the um, brushes that, the ones that I think are must-haves. Thank you, Lace. Beautiful as always. Thank you so much. Fixin says it looks awesome. Thank you. Um, the ones that I said were absolute must-haves for me. Where, what did I do with my, here we go. Okay. Wendy says, Lace says, beautiful as always. Wendy says, looks gorgeous, Mandy. Thank you. Kimberly said she was being nice yesterday, too. I know, right? This is the tear stayed final look. That's right, Jillian. Four hours. No wonder I don't make up good. I've got 15 minutes. Yeah, it should have taken this long. It, we, we had about 45 minutes. Yeah, but said, see, this is why I can't be nice. That's right, guys. Let's all be, like, grateful that Yabba's yeah, being nice. Why not says it looks beautiful. Thank you. Yabba says, did you French braid your hair? No, Alex did it for me. I'm kidding. Yes, I did it. <laughs> Fixin, you are all beautiful and always remember that. Yes. Cherry Cherry looks like thank you for the tutorial and for just being you. Mandy, you totally deserve so many more. Super excited for you. I'll be right back calling Yabba to let her know of the imposter on her account. <laughs> That's pretty funny, Katie. I swear, you guys are the best. I love it. Oh, thank you, Yabba. Okay, so the brushes that I use um, that I think are the most important to have would be your angled brush, and this is to put on the primer on your eyes. Would be a round, just fluffy brush to set. After you've primed your eyes, you definitely want, this is a MAC 217, but you want something this size like this that's big and fluffy so that you can do your transition and your blending with. You want something a little bit smaller. This is the Wayne Goss number 19 so that you can do the crease work, especially if you have hooded eyes. I highly recommend these Wayne Goss brushes. You're going to want... 
What time will you be doing the Q&A tonight? I don't know, probably around maybe 9.30 or 10, something like that, after we get back from dinner. Uh, this is the Wayne Goss number 18. I am, yeah, but I'm going to do a question and answer tonight. I'm going to do a Q&A. Um, this is the Wayne Goss number 18. Um, and this is for like outer edge placement. This is like what I used to deepen up the outer corner and then also go into the crease. And then these are the ones I use for lower lash line as well. So this is the Morphe M432. It is a flat brush and it's the one that I use to take the eyeshadow and press it very tight up along the bottom of my eyes. The Morphe E36 is this small little guy and he's actually more blown out and i use that for v corners if i really wanted to make this a very detailed v right there or if i wanted to do a cut crease this would be the one that i would use for that sarah's life you look amazing i'm going to stream and being a part of the 1k congratulations thank you so much for being here sarah i appreciate it so much Thank you. Just want to make sure that I'm going to have my stuff done so that I can be all. Oh, thank you, Stephanie Nicole. Lace, what may, what restaurant did you say that y'all were going to, Mandy? Cry babies. This is the MAC 217. This is my flat brush. And this is the one that I apply any shimmery thing with. This is the one that I use um, with my MAC Fix Plus to put on any kind of shimmer, any kind of glitter, anything like that. This is the kind of brush that you want. This is the Sigma Shader Lid E56. This is what I use when I'm putting on a um, gel liner or any kind of a base like I did the other day for my mermaid look. This is the one that I use. This is also a Morphe brush. It doesn't have a number on it, but it's kind of like the other one, except it's more tapered. Yeah, but says, can you imagine how sticky Katie's phone is from all the snake cat, all the snacky cakes she eats? You guys are funny. Mm, Mom, am I am I blocked under watch because some of my messages are disappearing? Really? Somebody else said that their messages were disappearing. Huh. No kidding. Um, so, uh, this is the brush that like, if I wanted to do a blowout underneath where I actually put it up close, may I, I don't understand. I don't know what's going on. I haven't deleted anything. I know that Vixen and Katie aren't deleting anything for sure. So I don't understand that. I'm so sorry. I have no idea, but you aren't the first person that said that somebody else did too. I think it was Jillian that said it. That's really weird. Um, so if I wanted to, um, like blow this out, I could take like another color and then I would use this right underneath my lash line to really, um, buff those colors out. So that's what this is for. And because it's more pointy at the end like that, it makes it much easier to really get in there and do that. Yeah, but fault probably because it was going by so fast. Maybe I hope so. I hope that's what it is. And then also, um, an eyeliner pencil like this, the one that is slanted, and I really like them to be super duper sharp. So those are the ones that I would say you definitely need to be able to do your eyes. I and mean, obviously you could get away with less y'all, but those are just my, that's what I personally consider the ones I have to have. Like when I go on vacation, those are the ones that I bring with me every single time. Um, So the final step in this, you hate washing your brushes. Stephanie, wait until you see the video I make when I get home. I'm going to show you something that is life changing. That's funny, Wendy. You're in Florida, isn't that right? Just so I can work out what time it will be there. Yes, Jackie, I'm in Florida. Uh-huh. Yes. So I'm um, Eastern time zone. So it's what? Quarter till four right now, I think. Um, what did I do with my blush brush? 
Here it is. I'm just going to put a little bit more blush because I definitely did blend that away. Oh, it's only almost one there, Vix. I wash mine about once a year. Uh, that's hilarious. Yeah, but wait till you guys see what I show you. I have like the coolest thing. Yes, Sarah. I ha I've had it for almost two years now. Miss Bethy said, uh, uh, when I need to wash brushes, I buy new ones. Dirty pile. I, that's how I used to be, too. I'll buy new brushes because I don't have to wash them. Stephanie, I understand. I used to be like that. KB says, this is a great look on you, Mandy. Thank you so much. Yeah, I said, right, Bethy? Lay said, Cinema Secrets is an easy way. Uh, doesn't deep clean them, but it works. Yes. Uh, Vixen says, I wash my brushes all the time. That's right, because Vixen is always like, Top of the top of the line, but I'm telling you when I show you guys this thing, I have it. This is like the coolest. It's the coolest thing. Where's my freaking setting spray? Oh, here we go. All right, so the final thing is spraying it. That was about six times more than what you actually need. But yet another thing that I agree with Jeffrey Star on, but that one is more. No problem, Yabs. It's 8.45 here, so I might be able to watch the stream. So I don't... Oh, Jackie, I'm so sorry. KB says, Mandy, do you wear makeup daily? Absolutely not. No. I only wear makeup probably maybe twice a week, if that. No, I mean, if I am doing any kind of a job, then yes, I'll, I will absolutely be wearing makeup. But if I'm just at home, no, I, I don't wear makeup at all if I'm just sitting at home not doing anything. Uh-uh. I'm either full glam or homeless. Oh, and by the way, I heard I heard somebody, that SM chick, she must watch my videos or something. Because I totally heard her say that the other day. And I know for a fact that she heard that from me. Because have you all ever heard anybody else say that before? That kind of ticked me off when she said that. I was like, come on now. Using my, I should be flattered, I guess. Or not watching that. That would that would actually make the more the most sense. Yes. Okay, you guys. Are there any other questions as far as um, the makeup goes? And then, like I said tonight, I'll do um, a Q and A and answer any questions. Um, nothing's off limits tonight, and nobody will be blocked and all that stuff. Um, can somebody tell Stephanie Nicole? I know somebody here knows, right? Thank you, Vixen. Love you so much. Yes, Kimberly. I was just saying that Mandy is the only makeup artist I could watch for hours. Please excuse my wordings as English as my second. No, you're doing great. Jillian, love this. Thank you so much. Rachel, bye y'all. Have a great night, Mandy. Thank you, Rachel. Lace says, congratulations. Thank you. Rachel, yes, that's the correct name. KB said, you are doing a live Q&A. What time? Probably around 9 o'clock Eastern. Yes, Lace, correct. Mariah, thank you. Rosie Leon, bye, everyone. Have a good dinner. Thank you so much. Nani, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, Christy says, I want to know what you suggest for a breakout. I have terrible skin and it's driving me crazy. Dr. Murad and the one uh, in the blue. Stephanie Nicole, congratulations again, beautiful. You deserve so many more subs too. You will get there before you know it and I can't wait. Thank you so much. Does setting spray really work? Penny says, absolutely setting spray really works. Miss Bethy, congrats again, my love. I'm over the moon for you. Can't wait to see this channel grow. Proud to be a part of it. Thank you so much. So much love for you. Thank you guys. And just remember there are no disabilities only different abilities know that I love all of you guys so, so much. And I'm so grateful that you guys um, were here uh, for this. And um, I will enjoy Cry Baby's Lace. Thank you so much. Um, Michelle, thank you. Love you too. Um, and hopefully I'll see you guys later. If not, you guys have a wonderful evening. And again, thank you for being here. Um, God bless all of you. Know that I love you. And until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.